scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I sincerely want to appreciate every one of us every time we get word, we get information that um, adjustments here and there are made to the meetings, either the days or the timings. We have been very faithful to cooperate. Um, and I sincerely want you to know that the Lord will bless you. For me, it's a sign of your love for God, your passion and your commitment towards your destiny, and also your sincere belief in the anointing and the grace that is upon my life and upon this ministry. And for that, I am deeply grateful. I would not take it for granted, especially for the thousands connecting online. Koinonia has become for many people um the word of the lord for them in season i'm amazed at how many people from different nations and different places literally leave off the the spiritual investment that they receive through this place thousands of ministries have been greatly built individuals have come into greater levels of the anointing and um I've also had the privilege of traveling quite extensively, especially in recent times. And uh, I am always very humbled to see the finger of God at work in territories we have had. I think it's been a very glorious year. Every year I keep saying this is the best, but um, sincerely speaking, I have seen the hand of God in ways probably this year more than ever before I have seen the manifestation of his spirit and his anointing God has done so many things there is nothing more profitable for any man of God than seeing the fruit of your dealings and your trainings with God other people are living off the fruit of your work with God it's so consoling and it's so blessing let me encourage someone up front. God is going somewhere with you. Be patient with him. Be patient with him. This is already a prophetic word for someone. Don't, don't rush God. The thing that is coming upon your life is big. Don't, don't rush God carelessly. Are we together now? A cow, I think a cow is pregnant for 13 months. Am I right? 13 months before it gives birth. There are other animals and other lower creatures that the entire gestation period may be from a week to a few months depending on the size and the quality of what is being delivered. The long pregnancy communicates the quality of the prophecy you are about to deliver. Be patient with God. Are we together? Be patient with God. God is working out something that is transgenerational god is working out something that for many of us will outlive the territories where he began with us from this is how mighty men were raised sometimes it can be frustratingly long but just wait with god he said ye who have continued with me not he who started with me continued with me are we together now one of the things that destroy people is when they begin to compete 
with themselves. Oh, we graduated together with so 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 person. Now the person has three cars, and I'm here just trying to press into God. Don't be foolish, be discerning. You must understand that the program of God for people is very different. That person is a happy civil servant with his wife, but there is an anointing upon you that is for nations. The dealings cannot be the same. Are we together? There are times God will tell others, go and he will tell you, wait. Please, I'm, I'm speaking prophetically to someone tonight. It is important for you to see the magnitude of where he's taking you to. I look at my life today and I look at what God is doing. And I thank him for granting me the grace to stay with him. I look at how many lives are being blessed and have been blessed. Do you know people will reward you for waiting? Yeah. Your waiting in itself is not a loss. You must stay. And understand. There is no man who attempting to build a house will not sit down and count the cost, whether he has what it takes to complete it. This rush, rush life, please hear me. This life of wanting to do everything at once, it will land us in trouble. Are we together? There's a kind of fish that you have to cook it for a very long time. What's the name? The stock, stock, is this? No, not stock. It's stock fish. Huh? No, no, no. There, there's, I can't remember the name. You have to cook it for a long time if you really want to enjoy it. You can off the fire if you are tired and eat whatever is there. But if you are ready for a healthy meal, it will stretch your patience. The hunger is burning you from head to toe, but you wait. But you wait in hope. You see, that's the difference. You can wait in vain. Both of them look the same. That's what is painful. It is the end that will show whether you were waiting in vain or waiting in hope. Because those who are waiting in vain and those who are waiting in hope, everything looks exactly so. It is the end that justifies it. So don't just wait foolishly. You wait in hope. Hallelujah. Let me, before we briefly touch on what the lord put in my heart to bless us with i just want to remind us again and again i will keep doing this as god grants grace as to why we're gathered here week in week out we've been doing this for many years and for those who have been part of the ministry long before koinonia in fact for many people it, it was every day every week laboring when when you look at people and they tell you they've been doing this for 10 years 15 years you're asking you mean this is how i mean nobody questions a student they look at you after 15 years and they say ah where are you now and they say oh finally i just got admission or oh, i'm writing work nobody says till now they say wow congratulations although the time is long but you are paying that price in hope one day they will ask you and you say oh sorry to tell you i got a job five years ago i'm now the director of the company and, ah, that little boy right in jesse listen god is going somewhere with you you can choose to end your dealing with him that's not going to hell you will not go to hell but you have pegged the extent to which god can do business with you I've told God there is no restraint as far as my work with you is concerned. I break every limit. Take me as far as you can take me. Stretch me as far as I can be stretched until I can carry an anointing that will bless a generation. Thank God for that which you have done, but this is child's play. In the visions of the Lord, I keep seeing it again that there is more. There is more. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, stretch me. Don't leave me like this. Don't leave me like this. I've seen signs and wonders, but this is not enough. I can't take what I have now to the nations. It will make me fight and quarrel. It will create competition. It's not unique enough. It's not distinguished enough. Oh, oh, oh.
what you are praying. Lord, I will pay any price. Oh, Let me tell you something. The key to being a real blessing is to be very anointed. Pay attention to what I'm saying. The key to being a real blessing is to be very anointed. Jesus himself showed us this. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Verse 38 of Acts chapter 10. With the Holy Ghost and with power listen then he says he on the strength of that quality of the anointing he went about doing good you cannot do good just out of compassion the problems that befall mankind takes more than sympathy there are challenges in the lives of people that need it. you have to move further than comfort you are truly a blessing when you pay the price for the anointing young and old listen to me i'm speaking to you every man of god i know today who is doing mighty things for god who is being thanked and honored by nations they are only thanking the anointing the price to have brought something forth is painful it's not a gift it's a school in the spirit And the semester system does not work like school here one course can take two days to finish another course can take four years to finish you don't have a system with god and say okay after a particular predefined space of time no you can be moving forward in the spirit and then just stay in a particular class and for two years you have not moved it's not backsliding it is the course content is bulky and you must be articulately trained now you can choose to think you are too you are too long and then graduate yourself the door is always open this lecturer does not close the door it is your passion that closes the door in this school of the spirit is students that close the door the holy spirit does not close it is wide open you can choose to walk out and say lord i'm tired please I'm, I'm grateful with all the mediocrity moving around and then you get angry and criticize others nothing will replace the absence of the presence and the anointing of the spirit i learn this every day as i have the privilege of studying history studying the moves of god and watching the things that god does through my life let me tell you the anointing is is a commodity of inestimable worth never trivialize it it is the secret of transgenerational relevance you are truly a blessing when you pay the price to sustain the ability to change lives to shift systems then you are a blessing sympathizing with people may help psychologically but it will not prefer solutions any man that trivializes the anointing is about to waste his time on earth i tell you the truth it has nothing to do with ministry i went for a meeting you know something happened i didn't even tell my people they watched that happen we came in this evening from a meeting i've been ministering in a conference and as i was stepping out by the roadside just to go to the vehicle probably they are here i may not know Two families who came on Friday for Koinonia, trusting God for a miracle of the fruit of the womb. The husbands together with their wives and they were friends. They decided to come and Koinonia didn't hold on Friday. So they now paid the price, went back to Kaduna to catch up with the final session of the meeting this morning. 
and when the meeting was done i think the protocol helped them i was walking and they came and um, they just looked at me and compassion filled my heart now whether or not i can solve their problem is another thing and it's wickedness to claim i can solve it when i cannot you see let me tell you something if you love god and you love people you will pay the price for the anointing that is the only way to bless people i'm speaking to someone here here's a family experiencing this kind of challenge they don't need counseling they've heard it they are not daft people I don't have to tell them just go and see doctor so 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 and so I, I think they are adults enough they are married and they stood there and I watched the two women and watched their dear husband standing and I was standing in the middle of an opportunity that can begin a new journey for a family or brag like we always do as men of God lay hands on them and walk away and let them go back to disappointment and I looked at them years ago i would have been in i would have been in so much um um guilt because i knew i really wouldn't do anything about it but as the days have unfolded i have seen the spiritual synergy that this thing is a formula you can produce repeated results in the lives of people i caught the revelation of fruitfulness this year this year 2016 i caught it like a key and i said this is it i've gotten it there is a key when you search you will find when you wait for it to come and meet you you will never find it there's a lot of spiritual laziness we hope that god will carry the word and look for you no hospital moves around looking for patients the hospital is built even if you cannot walk they will carry you there there is a a unit called emergency but you have to get there I see people many times and I see that we're not really passionate enough I'm like a spiritual historian I'm searching what is the secret behind predictable results in this area there must be a hunger and I looked at them and I told the women hold my hands and they held my hands and I knew their wombs were open yeah not necessarily because they were under the anointing rolling i knew there is a level of flawlessness that you can step into as far as the dispensing of the anointing at that point you will know that you are a blessing you can see a man 20 years of misery and his prayer is to have an encounter with christ through you and the moment they see you they start rejoicing because they know their problems have ended let me teach you something i'm still going to use money i hope you don't mind um let me use money watch this i think i've taught it here the anointing is like money there are things the level of anointing you have can afford to produce there are results that you are anointed is not enough everything that needs to be purchased in the realm of the spirit that is below the level of your anointing can be purchased but every challenge higher than your level of anointing cannot be purchased watch this i did the teaching this morning similar to this and i want to use that analogy if i have for instance i'm not saying anointing is money but if i have a thousand naira worth of the anointing ejimi and if you need maybe 200 naira worth of a miracle this miracle you need is within the jurisdiction of my anointing to produce it are you getting the point now so when you come to me i will be able to minister to you and give you an assurance that you are going back with a result are we together but if thank you if what you need is um let's say a miracle the equivalence of a phone of fifty thousand, am i anointed yes but the challenge he has is beyond the anointing that I possess to solve that problem. Don't just say anointing is anointing. You are joking. How God anointed Jesus. Look at the extent. That's why he could do good. 
every problem Jesus confronted was lower than his level of the anointing so there was flawless result I'm telling you this is it's a revelation God gave me the reason why some things happen and some don't happen is that those that happen are within the level of the anointing to be able to release it and those that are above it so I can lay hands on you falling down is under this but the miracle you need is above it so you will fall down and yet not have the miracle are you getting what I'm saying now you can come to me say man of God prophesy over my life I lay hands on you and you fall because the dynamics of being slain in the spirit is, 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 the, is a basic dimension of the anointing it does not mean you received anything so when you possess such a dimension of grace such that the major problems of mankind is within the jurisdiction of your grace to solve at that point you are a living blessing the woman with the issue of blood if she touched peter she would have kept bleeding correct yeah but she touched a man who was dripping anointing from head to toe when you saw jesus you knew that was it if you did not receive from jesus it was not a lapse of power it was your dishonor and lack of discernment do we have such people in zaria do we have such people in nigeria men that you can carry your trouble with joy with joy not with suspicion that the moment you land in koinonia before service starts you are dancing because you said the devil that did not stop me from coming here that's the end of it when people testify i am touched not just by the testimony but i'm humbled that by grace we have been able to stay with god and grow to a level where now the anointing we possess is above their challenges this is a very deep secret that many of you will catch as you grow in ministry it's working in me it's working in me it's god's ability god's ability is working in me is working in me listen you know you possess an anointing when certain testimonies start repeating themselves when you begin to hear repeated testimonies then you know the same way a woman cooks and before you get to her restaurant psychologically you have tasted the food because you know she's not going to tell you sorry today this year i'm burnt she's left that level that's why they put a price tag on their food you buy rubbish for 200 naira anything you see smoky or not you manage it because you know what you paid for but when you pay 10,000 naira for a meal listen what will make men leave their nation and come to you are you that important because you think your name is joshua selman are you that important that a man can let me tell you something most people say people are busy nobody is busy everybody's looking for solution if you become what they are running around looking for i promise you you can hold koinonia every day by 10 30 to 3 a.m in the morning notice the time 10 30 to 3 a.m men will still come and you'll be wondering are you not a government worker again and they will say the last person you prophesied to his salary for 30 years came to him in one year why should i want to labor like that you are not a blessing when you are not anointed i'm telling you this learn it understand this speak grammar speak hebrew words speak greek do anything you want to do if you cannot reveal christ he said great is the mystery of godliness christ is come in the flesh the world becoming flesh that men and women can carry their results a man comes here not loving god and hearing you speak something infects him he goes back and does not even know what is happening to him again look how long it takes people in the body of christ to adjust to spiritual things they get born again in january no passion in the atmosphere they got born again it's in november they now consider being filled with the holy spirit oh no there's no fire there there is a way you can step into an anointing 
huh? the lifespan of your journey is one week in one week it will look like you've been born again for 10 years because of the impact of the grace you came under I made a vow to myself I said I will never go to a ministry twice to reveal Christ there twice no no that you invite me and say come again it's like pushing a wall let's keep pushing uh -uh. I prepare my spirit that if God grants me an opportunity to come to your city or your area then you know something dramatic will happen can men come to you are you that valuable I watch people trivialize the Holy Spirit I watch people trivialize the anointing and then somehow they think the key is just to receive lay none of hands oh man of God I came with a seed of one million just lay hands on me and then you go to another one lay hands on me and it's as if you are shopping for anointing and then you bring it and say now I have what it takes you are joking you are really joking you believe spiritual things are that cheap I came to challenge you there is where God is taking you to. Don't, don't, don't rob yourself of the privilege of standing before nations to be a representation of the power and the grace and the glory of God. Look at the testimony of that dear lady. 4.69, you get 4.69. If it's cheap, try it. Go and prophesy to somebody after this night that you will come back with the same result. And then you see that it's not so easy. The anointing does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. When Benny Hinn came to Nigeria two weeks ago, look at the rush, look at the preparation. Literally, he kept the body of Christ at a standstill. Is it true that everything he shared, you have never had it? Will you be honest to say you have never had it? Is it true that what he taught you has never been heard? He has repeated it in many churches. He has taught series on it. So why seek him? Why crowd yourself outside in overflows? Why sit down and stream? Why cancel your programs? You didn't bring a man. You brought a grace. You brought an anointing. You brought a priceless ability that can turn the lives of people around now foolish people say what is there about them no no when you honor a man you don't honor a body you honor sacrifice you honor a depth of sacrifice that has afforded god space to move through that vessel in a mighty way listen listen look up let me tell you something come david dam let's assume david dam has let's assume that he has um high blood pressure or hiv watch this don't you think god wants to heal him on wednesday don't you think god wants to heal him next year the desire of god to heal him is the day someone who has paid the price to give god space to release that dimension of his possibility when that vessel appears his healing has come why do people sit on a wheelchair till an anointed man comes is it that that's the day God wanted to heal them? That's the day the anointing that could solve that problem stepped in. There are men that step into places and they just shift atmospheres. Just like that. But they never started that way. I shared a verse of scripture that I would want to share with us the Lord. Thank you, David. The Lord gave me an instruction to repeat a few portions of what I shared in the meeting today with us and it will bless you Luke 1 80 please Luke chapter 1 verse 80 Luke chapter 1 verse 80 this was our first prayer point yesterday at the conference and I want to establish it again and then we will pray Luke chapter 1 media please help us I want us to pray tonight Luke chapter 1 verse Are you there? 
the first four words please if you are a christian one two read one more time one more time put your name where there is child there ready one to go so men can grow so men can grow the problem is not where i am i know i may not be so anointed now i know i am barren of understanding but the bible reveals to us that there is a possibility in the spirit where men can leave their current spiritual level to a pedestal that is higher and the child john the baptist grew he was ordained a prophet from prophecy but he was born a child and the child grew when i found this scripture i jumped i said so men can grow once upon a time i was not here i grew meaning there are levels i should get to that i'm not yet there i can grow growth is a secret growth is a provision in the body that translates men into limitless possibilities i can grow and the child john grew to become a prophet and the child naive barren of any sensory perception into the realm of the spirit no prophetic acumen and the child grew men can grow i'm not hearing god now you can grow i'm not anointed now i can grow my company is nothing to write home about it can grow my marriage is nothing to write home about it can grow my home is full of children who are disturbing they will grow growth is a mystery that when you understand you know there is hope and the child grew and e and i that little ministry that was meeting on the floor grew to what it is now and koinonia is growing 10 years from now when we stand before the nations and we look at the photos of today as excited as we are about today we will nod and say that's david dam and they say who that guy shaking the nations and david dam grew ah look at mama and look at femi promise these guys are just shaking nations in different territories and you will watch the pictures and see them sitting down and they and they will see some of you who are seated now as if you don't know anything about the anointing when they hear and say my god that is the woman of god whose crusades are packed full everywhere she's the one can you see her face in that picture and the woman grew. men can grow into the anointing men can grow into limitless possibilities in the spirit the challenge is not where you are the challenge is do you want there was a day this guy when he joined the worship team he could not play keyboard like this he challenged himself his music director and his leaders challenged him and he decided to grow now when i learned how to play keyboard i don't think this guy had laid his hand on a keyboard i began to play keyboard 1994 94 95 but i refused to grow so although it's that long where i stopped in the growth is still where i am today you can be born again for donkey years but the peg you gave god is still where he will faithfully stand and wait for you you can be ministry and the highest miracle you will ever see is headache because that's where you stopped the moment you got to that level of your anointing you graduated yourself awarded yourself and held a convocation for yourself but there are those who even at phd they say we are still undergraduates lord we are staying with you when i hear men like benny Hinn saying i still want more of his anointing i say my god more of what after shaking nations yet some of us are already here bragging in our arrogance oh i prophesied to sister so 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 it came to pass you think that's what you are going to use to shift nations you are joking and the child i want to show you that men don't just happen 
and work strong in spirit but the system is this he was in the desert he was in the place of training for david it was the cave of adulam listen please hear me i thought in the conference where we went to on the coming revival and i mean i think some of you need to get our external ministration sometimes i wish that i carry all of you along and uh, because those meetings are usually very glorious meetings very epochal teachings and i taught yesterday on what we call the travail the mystery of seasons the mystery of the dealing of god in a man's life that brings the anointing the anointing does not come just because you want it the anointing is like a certificate that is given to you at the end of a season of being dealt with god and i want to share just a few parts of it and then we'll pray i want us to pray I'll just spend a few minutes and then we'll pray tonight. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to run over. I want to run over. Fill me up till I overflow. Hallelujah. Please sit down. When a believer, listen to me, let me teach you. Let me show you how people grow and become matured in the spirit. Men do not become matured in the spirit just by going to church. There is a step there. But there is a system. Listen to me, please. God's system of working with men. There are seasons of your life. Watch this when you will pass through what we call the travail jesus said something very interesting john chapter 16 please give it to us quickly media john chapter 16 verse 21 jesus was teaching on the ministry of the holy spirit and he said something that is very interesting if you're a christian and it's projected and you can see it please i want you to read it one to read why stop this is strange i said it yesterday and i want to repeat it here some travails are because your time has come it's not because you are out of alignment with god's system jesus is teaching a woman comes to a point in her life where she's in travail the travail is not because she hated god the travail is because her time has come many immature believers will say ah the travel is a sign that she's missing out on god somewhere the bible says because her hour is gone do you know there are things that happen to people's lives simply because seasons have come not because you are out of sync with god seasons have come follow me but as soon as she's delivered of the child the reason for her travel not a child the child the very object for which the sorrow came the bible says she remembered no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world but until then there is a contention please listen to me many pastors have tried to preach what i'm telling you away to tell believers nothing like that happens i i I love the body of Christ but brothers and sisters I tell you this by the authority of the grace of Christ given to me I know how men become anointed don't sit down and allow people just fool you into thinking one day an extreme dimension of the anointing will come you are really joking there is a system and the caption of that system is called the travail 
I will tell you why these seasons come. They must come. You never pray them away. You only pray for grace to pass through them. The praying and saying they should not come is saying I do not want to enter that realm. I don't care who you are. I don't care how you love God. Jesus went through a season where he said, Father, if it be thy will, if it's possible, let's renegotiate how this thing will happen. But he quickly remembered and said, nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. Seasons. Abraham waited 25 solid years. Embarrassingly painful. His servants had children and he did not have any. Do you know what it means to respect a man who does not have results? While you the subordinate has it. That's what Abraham went through. He didn't just go through barrenness. He went through the shame and the pain. Yet he waited. It's in the system of God and it's how he builds men. And brings them into authentic power. The generals of faith walked that way. Our generation is running away from it. And we keep bragging and prophesying in arrogance. We are going to do more than Smith Wigglesworth. You go and read their history. And you will see a track record. There is not one of them I know that escaped this. Not one. Not one of them. There is a season of travail. Because your hour is come. How many people want to start ministry without going through this and they crash land and make a fool out of themselves there is what qualifies you to host god there is what qualifies you to be a dispenser of the possibilities of god to nations one of it is this the mystery of the travail seasons that stretch your spiritual life from border to border seasons that stretch every part of your conviction mm. someone is getting blessed fill me up till I overflow I wanna run I wanna run one more time fill me up fill me up let me tell you the benefit of the dealings of God the first advantage of the dealings of God is that the dealings of God with a man produces alignment it produces yieldedness and it produces a track record in the spirit never forget this the dealings of god the spirit of man cannot align to god by default that destiny must come under a system that will compel alignment a system in ancient times they had a way they made the anointing oil right the olive oil they would take the olive plants and put them on something that looks like a threshing floor and put a heavy object upon it and someone will hold it and begin to turn it clockwise and the pressure mounted on that olive begins to squeeze out the oil the oil will drip out together with particles impurities but the man for the joy of the oil will not even mind the cry let me tell you God loves you too much to let your tears deceive him don't think he plans to end that season you must drink that cup in full I know what I'm saying does not look pleasant I show you the path to glory there is a relationship between death and glory there is a relationship between death and glory you will never be able to access glory without death verily verily I say unto you except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies it No, you don't just speak to nations and doors open. I'm in Christ. You are joking. You are really joking. That ignorance is a sign that there's something you have not even seen. Because scripture is prophetic. You need the Holy Ghost. Holy men were moved by the Spirit. So only the Holy Spirit can interpret what he wrote. There are three reasons why we go through seasons of travail. 
let me give it to us quickly number one sabra The seasons of travel in a man's life listen they they are they create experiences that give you a personal revelation of who god is the first advantage of seasons of travel is a personal revelation of who god is personal revelation there's too much theoretical knowledge about god in the body of christ so many people they know the god that this person said people come to sing special numbers are you clapping for my jesus is that what you give my god a foreign and a strange incense rising you must go through seasons the first advantage of the seasons of travel is they break out every sense of falsehood and theory and help you know who god is for yourself no longer the god of joshua selman you encounter him every name that god was named was an experience a season introduced that dimension of him what is the name you have given god based on your experience if you were asked to never call god by any name in the bible has your experience given him a name that you can relate with you call him the name of another man's experience show me a name like a jimmy can have a secret name for hope hope can have a secret name for a jimmy aaron can have a secret name for his wife i want you to show me a name that your experience with god has brought that only you can call someone else does not understand but two of you know i'll show you why many people do not have convictions in the body of christ they know the god of another person they do not know him for themselves God's ultimate desire is not only that men will introduce him to you but that they serve as ushers a time must come you must have a track record and say I know him I know whom I have believed I know hmm. Job 42 from verse 5 to 8 Job was rich he talked about God he was a God fearing man he gave sacrifices but a time came in the life of Job he could not explain the predicaments in his life everything went haywire his entire life crashed and in the end this is what Job said read it please one to read I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear but now my eyes have seen you I heard Joshua Selman when he was talking about you I heard him say you can heal the sick I said amen but now that they told me I am SS I need to know the healer now now that they told me that I, I am barren I tried everything I went to every man of God they did their best Lord I locked the door me and you show me something about your glory church history is full of men who had encounters when they closed the door at everything and say lord show me something i'm tired of hearing the god of someone else and an explanation i cannot relate with show me the song that has come out of your experience with god worshipers you have been singing kodka's song you've been singing tai tribet song show me a song that came out of your tears you thought you will not make the next day and he gave you a song every time you are in a challenge that song comes it may not minister to others but it's your song it's not a song for congregation it's a song for your secret place a song that reminds you of who god is let me tell you you know why people certain people in the body of christ become unshakable and immovable it's not because they are blind it's not because they are not human they have an experience with God that is higher than every other thing. I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now I have had an encounter with you. Job summoned God in chapter 38 and said, God, you need to come and reveal yourself to me. And when God showed up, God said, Job, I've been hearing you talk since chapter 1. I've just been keeping quiet. You've been making a lot of noise like you know me. Now let me talk to you. Where were you when I founded the earth? When I laid the foundations? When the morning stars sang? 
and job said my god i was never taught that there is such a thing he said declare if you have understanding there are healing evangelists who stepped into the level of creative miracles when they sat down and prayed kenneth e hagin he was the guinea pig to his healing ministry dying of a deformity and nobody could heal him i told you about my story i've had fungal infection that ate my head they said hair will not grow on my head again i know what oppression looks like when I'm laying hands on people, that memory sponsors the release of the anointing. There is something that sponsors compassion. It's not just because I'm kind-hearted. No. When you stand and you see someone's legs eaten by worms and is smelling, you are attempting to go, but you remember an experience. Ha! Fill me up. Till I overflow. I wanna run. I wanna run. Fill me up. I wanna run. Listen. Let me relate it to students. Have you seen? Have you seen a final year student advising a new student who is just entering? He will tell you, sorry sir, they gave me a course. I'm trying to do change of department and the boy cannot sleep. And the final year student is laughing because to that guy, is a mount, he, he's having a mountain. Can they change my course? Uh, can they do this? Sorry sir, how do they do it in ABU? And you laugh and say, my brother, there's more to come. Bro. You better relax. You have not seen the guy in the department you are going to. And then she enters the office of the man and for the first time in her life a man would blast and insult her he said you are stupid if you think you're a prostitute i'm not for you go out and she leaves never had she been insulted like that then you find out others who live in that realm every day they insulted them till they submitted their project it's called growth and the child grew no matter how you sympathize with that boy leave him sometimes don't pity people too much to cover seasons that will afford them opportunity to grow there, there is sometimes you can go through so much pain you want to over pamper people and in doing it you don't give them the opportunity to know god leave them alone every day you are giving him two two hundred naira one day tell him look i've done my best for you go and find out and he would think he will call him later you say abba i know sam sam will call me he can't allow me to die like this i saw him cooking yam and then you, the holy spirit will tell you don't call him by nine o'clock he will start browsing the secret of prosperity enter now something is happening to him don't stop it pressure leads people to the anointing When a man starts a ministry, he will criticize every man of God. What is there with crowd? Wait and see. It's just because we need a venue. When he has a venue and for two years, he will first deny. Then later he will look at it and say, well, there may be something. After three years, he will be the first to sit down in the pastor's conference. When they say, I prophesy open door, he will be on his knees before the prophecy comes. Pressure brought him to an encounter. There are people who are too stubborn. Pharaoh was like that. Pharaoh did not have an experience with God. He only knew the God of the Hebrews. One day God said, I will reveal to you who I am. Moses, let me use you as a tool. Go and show this man. And he said, is he just parting the Red Sea? They left him face to face. When he killed his child, he said, I did it. Me, God, let your witches bring him back to life. And all the gods of Egypt could not do it. And he said, the God of Moses, he is God. Listen, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. You need an experience with God that will give you the audacity to move through life. We chicken out too much and we look at life strange as if it's because you have not gone through. I want you, wherever you thrill your experiences, go and gather them this night create a basket in the spirit call it my testimony and call it my ladder to the place of the anointing store it back 
I know A and B happened to you that was not favorable. But the Bible says, for we know. Those who have not gone through it do not know. But us, we know that all things, all things, all things, all things. There are things I've gone through in my life that make me look at mountains like mold hills. I tell you. I don't even pray about them. What for? It's a waste of time. I already have worked with God enough to know that there is a way out. I don't have to disturb him. Some prayers are a symbol of faith and faithlessness and ignorance. It's because you do not understand the systems of God. A track record. That track record produces strength and stamina. Proverbs 24 verse 10. If you fall in the day of battle, it says your strength is small. I see a lot of believers who do not have stamina. You, you see how malleable they are. Everything bends them. Under pressure to explain everything to everybody. No, it's not like that. It's not like I'm a bad person. Who cares? There is a system you go with God. That you are governed by posterity, conscience and the fear of God. Any other person can go places. I look at the body of Christ and there's too much pressure to defend our ego. Let, let them not say it's me that carried this thing. You know. See, everybody watch. Uh -uh. Let them think what they want to think. You have gone through a lot with God to know that honor is a mantle. It's not just what you fight for. If it's not on your life, no matter how innocent you are, you will not be honorable. Do you have that track record? please i'm telling you this so that when you go back home you will kneel down and thank god for what made you cry yesterday something that brought tears out of your eyes has now opened you up to enough room to know god listen listen i wish what i were saying were a lie i would have just told you sorry but what i'm saying is so true is the foundation for authentic power are we together Every time they talk of blessing you, you think of your uncle. You think you have faith. You really don't have faith. Then one day your uncle leaves you and says, from today, uh, you are a man. How old did you say you are? You say, I'm 23. I'm, I'm still a child. He says, no, you are a man. From today, you fend for yourself. For one month, you will see that there's no result. Meaning somebody's result was covering you. Corporate success can be dangerous. Because you can hide under it thinking you are making it. Worship team is doing well. Are you doing well? You Many people hide under corporate success. We are anointed. I know. We are men of God. I know. Life will separate you and demand from you. You have to prove that you are intrinsically valuable. And the key is to pass through these seasons. Before I continue, I want you to pray one minute from your heart and say, Lord, the let the seasons come. I only ask for grace. I'm no longer afraid. I've been running away from it and fast forwarding my breakthrough. But Lord, I summon courage. Uh -uh. If it is hunger, let me go through it till I catch the key for wealth. I'm tired of begging up and down. Lord, let these seasons bring me to the anointing. I know. I know. Oh. The Bible says after two days he will revive us. And on the third day he will raise us up. Are you praying Koinonia? Shabbat Lord let them come. They may be painful. But I open up my spirit. And I receive the voice of God through those experiences. They may be embarrassing. But Lord, I need an encounter. I need to know you for myself. Are you praying? I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear. But now I know that challenges do not kill. I had men say it, but I know now. 
Hallelujah. Listen. This is what makes your sermons powerful because you are speaking from a depth of conviction when you preach from pain you don't preach and you are looking whether you are right or wrong ah i hope this thing i'm saying that's theory you went to do browsing copy and paste but when you are preaching your life and your pain blood is dripping from your life that testifies that you know what you are saying you are not advising people you are telling them the way out whether they believe or not is their cup of tea men of conviction are men who have pain they have scars that are, let me tell you a scarless man is an anoint is, is, is a man who is barren of the anointing your scar is where the anointing is rubbed on it's not rubbed where there is no scar the place of scar is the point of application the balm in Gilead is not applied to a place where there is no wound. That anointing. When Ambrobas hit someone and the Samaritan man came, he rubbed oil on the places of the wounds. Everywhere that he did not have wound, there was no need for anointing. Don't rub your pain. There is glory coming out there. Don't rub your financial struggles. There is an unction coming up there. Don't rob your barrenness. Let me tell you, let all the naysayers preach. You will find them after koinonia. They will still tell you I'm talking nonsense to you. You will still hear them, but you continue. You are going through it for them. The day they will need your miracle, by then you will be anointed enough to help them. Listen. There were people who said things about me many years. They never saw my face. They do not even know me many years later they would come to meet me hearing about joshua selman they never knew never knew and now they saw me and compassionately like joseph ministering to his brother i would minister to them while i was going through what would give me the anointing to help them the devil was using them to criticize and talk but god said keep moving just set your face like a flint sometimes silence is the way to speak silence is the only way to speak in certain seasons I'm speaking to you from the depth of my heart tonight you catch the key I'm sharing with you you catch an unction that will change your life you are two people conscious it has stopped you from entering your what will they say there is a way you go through something I say let them say the trouser is torn no problem you, you have gone to this this trying to live your life for people you just tell yourself it's over i'm done with it i i i know my redeemer lives if it does not bless me let me die but doing it just for my reputation is over i'm tired of trying to just be nice for people and experience so you want to worship god and you're watching that guy i like is looking at me maybe my clothes will roll maybe they will see my inner wears there is a way you go through fire and not believe you will come out before they raise the song you will lie down as if you are sleeping and start rolling on the ground roll like a mad person and people will say ah, ah david why are you rolling this way and he said i'm rolling to the god i'm dancing to the god who took the kingdom i never knew i would be a king god took me now you just inherited joy i be your soul's daughter you don't know what happened between me and your father god took an anointing from your father and brought it to me fill me up till i overflow i wanna run i wanna run fill me up everyone here you need a personal experience with God listen I speak especially for the men 
you cannot live a lifetime of conviction without encounters you will bend to your convictions left right and center because the devil will throw everything at you you must have a story in your life that you can tell your children and say in 1971 I thought I would be eaten by this disease but I'm standing strong Satan where were you in 1971 if I didn't die then I would not die now we have boastful confessions in the body of Christ without an experience that sponsors our conviction oh if my ministry does not grow in one year let it be that i'm not called of god and you are there ranting and speaking nonsense the key is not english the key is not rema the key is a track record when blood drips from you then the oil comes through it the anointing is for the place of pain i'm speaking to someone here is for the place of pain no scars no anointing no scars no grace no scars no testimony no scars no unction that's how it works you can preach another message to yourself but I tell you if it is power you look for I show you the way it comes. A track record. The cave of Adulam. Seasons of pain. Seasons of travail. As soon as Zion travails, as soon as she begins, the contractions that comes to a woman is not a sign that she's a stupid woman. It will make her uncomfortable. She will get up and be walking around. When she goes to the hospital, they will make her do exercise. She will do stupid things. Her husband will be there she will act as if she's out of her sense a baby is coming when that baby comes so come visit us everywhere for the sake of the baby you are gathered here today because somebody did not allow this training to pass you are gathered here today because there is blood dripping from someone's altar we who will gather in your own meeting because of the price you are paying you think it will happen something for nothing is witchcraft you are joking there is a track record with all the greed in you with all the pride and the self-centeredness you want the anointing no sir you will pass through that furnace i guarantee you i guarantee you while you are crying god will only supply grace he will not take you out but if you can walk and finally step out at the other end you will be a vessel unto honor it is at that point you will think a thing and God will do it you have not prayed you are thinking God, I think I need I need 50,000 someone says God said I should give you it's a realm you don't claim it you qualify for it There are things I've, I'm seeing in my life now. I wanted them many years. But I did not know that the track record had not created room for them. God kept telling me forget about these things. Just keep walking with me. Today I wonder. I didn't even know when they came. The track record. Oh Lord make me a kingdom financier. And then God tells you to sew all your clothes and everything. And then people pity you. You feel like an idiot. You work so hard. And God tells you to give it away. And God said, you say, but God, why are you not doing it for someone else? I thought you said you wanted the wealth mantle. You think it's just about wearing designers? You are joking. There is a fullness of affliction. You make others rich and remain poor. A season comes, God will say, the season is full. Your cup is full and your heavens are open. And men say, where is this coming from? a mystery see these are the men you talk about them you bring causes on yourself believe me when I tell you this thing there are men you speak about them literally God will, they don't cause you their covenant the blood that has come out from their life 
is still on an altar it, it has a throne in heaven this is what produces miracles these things you are seeing this is not by faith it's a covenant God vows to back you as far as this is concerned so you can go to the nations you don't need to ask them whether they believe God in the church you just need to go you carry your altar you carry your covenant and then you bless the world do you have an encounter with God do you know him not Jesus of Nazareth do you know him do you know him do you know him I cried for a revelation of him not just a vision of Jesus an experience so when I say God is a good God something in me should be able to explain it when I say God is a deliverer I should be able to say how many are they that rise up against me many are they which say where is his help I should be able to say but thou O Lord art a shield for me you're my glory my glory not just koinonia's glory my glory I know you can lift my head I went through hell men said bury him but you brought me out that was David for you David was a man who knew God you see why he knew God he went through more pains than any king he went through more disappointment to an extent that God said you will not build me a temple he would have been offended he said God I know you too much I know you too much to complain I will gather the money for my son speaking to you too many believers who don't know God we brag around thinking because we have little anointings here and there brother you need a track record that blood you are running away from must come out no it must come out if it came out of the son of God it must come out of his body the sufferings of Christ and the glory that follows I show you a virgin path that many people may never follow they don't like it they like the anointing they like the charismatism they like the influence but they do not like the track record a man can get to a level where if he prophesies to you and it's a mistake God will make that mistake come to pass because there is a covenant he has tied his integrity to so they can just look at you and say be blessed you have entered the creative dimension of your work with God where you don't just reveal things you create them it's a realm it's a realm I'm speaking to you from the depth of my heart not many men of God will teach you this thing I'm telling you because many people consider it to be the hallmark of their ministry it's like a man coming to tell you bedroom secrets between you and the wife no sensible married man will just carry anybody outside and come and tell you bedroom secrets what I'm telling you now is the mystery responsible for any great man most men of God I understand why they create a system and never share it I don't think it's pride they value the blood that dripped from them it takes love for you to hear what I'm teaching you and you must love God to appreciate it just like there are some of you looking and say wow this is very interesting look if I were you I would stop rushing my life I really will stay with God see if you seek him you will find him we are not seeking him we are seeking things around him when fasting is still a problem you are seeking him you are joking God will say separate yourself two days I want to talk with you ah oh God I beg please you are there. I bind that spirit and I'm not talking of some hilarious things after tonight's meeting you say I'm going 60 days all that is religion because it's not directed you will only starve yourself for nothing listen now number two this will be probably one of the greatest messages you would have heard in this 2016 if you work with what I'm teaching you you will command results in a way that will scare you believe me remember I gave us a scripture that is a verse of comfort and 
the child grieved. So you don't have to sit down and think some people were born like that. Nobody was born like that. And Jesus grieved. John grew so you can grow. Benny Hinn grew. Kenneth Copeland grew. You must grow. You will not just become, you will grow. Number two, the second advantage of seasons of travail in our lives, the second advantage is that it impacts upon your life understanding understanding a comprehension of the secrets of God listen there are secrets in God that only when you are the lowest point of your life you will see them there are things God has shared with me today I will know I, well let me not say no mortal man there is nobody that may ever get to hear it you will not even believe it there are secrets that until you get to a level with God if it does not show even you yourself will not believe it listen we take truth from faith to faith there are mysteries that surround this kingdom that control results and power when you are there with God it affords him the opportunity to show you certain deep things that when you were high there you would not have believed but now that you are there you will hear understanding the comprehension of the secrets of God the Bible says the secret things belong to the Lord right the secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him and he will reveal his covenant look at me <laughs> read this Bible from Genesis to Revelation I promise you I promise you there are things you will never see pain is a key in the spirit there are doors that only pain can open believe me brothers and sisters believe me on this there are times you go through seasons in your life when you go through those seasons in your life then certain scriptures open up the Lord is my shield and my salvation. Who shall I be afraid of? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom? And it now makes sense. Ah, I now see. Better is one day in your house than a thousand elsewhere. I'd rather be a doorkeeper. All of a sudden, it will be as if you have written books. But now you are seeing things. There are things I've seen this year that I literally had to stop and I started crying. I said, my God. There are things I said by the Spirit in Koinonia teachings that not even me had come into the fullness of the comprehension of it. I have looked at them. Ah, Psalm 54 verse 7 for he had delivered me out of all trouble and my eye had seen his desire on my enemies do you have an experience that can explain that a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you only will you stand and see have you seen that That's why the name of Jesus doesn't make any, any impact for many people. We shout Jesus like a champ. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. It's not in English. That name reacts to something. See, let me tell you. There are men that are deeply respected in the realm of the spirit. Satan knows what makes him respect men. It's not English. When you see a man walking in this realm of the spirit, full of scars, blood dripping down as a symbol of his sacrifice to communicate his desire to let the multifaceted dimensions of God be hosted in him. 
they are the kinds that he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm they are the kinds that are unkillable they will match a charm and pass even the charm knows it will not work it's not try maybe I, I'm, I'm trying to make the charm work no no it's a realm that is the realm where they can look and say no sickness can touch me you know we mock ourselves in the body of christ oh i, I mean I, I can't be sick and we're just joking do you know at what level in the spirit that word becomes activated in your life every prophecy have has levels just like in our environment there there are certain conditions for certain things to happen don't just speak because you saw it in the bible are we together and so there are so many men of god today they carry their hands lay it on sick people and say i'm anointed and after five years they carry the diseases on the people not by airborne disease the mystery of transference because they do not know that you must truly sustain a higher potential the bible says lay hands suddenly on no man lest thou be a partaker just by laying hands you can partake listen in your walk with god there are secrets god will show you they are not for public consumption they are not doctrines they are secrets he reveals to you to guide the delivery of the grace he has put upon you it will mislead people when these secrets become public not necessarily because they are demonic but it is a unique dealing of god to you William Branham had a secret with God where his angel will appear when he saw that angel in a healing meeting it was a sign to him that the prophetic mantle was activated then he will begin to heal and prophesy now if you sit down and walk like that you will get into witchcraft something else will appear to you are we together now because that was a unique dealing a portion for Kenneth E. Hagin it is in the secret place as you walk with God you begin to learn certain anointings he will train you with certain sensations just for you to know what kind of anointing is in the building now you can't write a book on it you will bring people into error he will show you when the healing anointing is there he will use your body parts as keys to symbolize to you you will your your organs of interaction with the spirit will be heightened they have personalized dealings with the spirit so when you come for a meeting you stand near someone you can know that there is witchcraft at work not just because you saw a spirit a code was given to you in the secret place and god says whenever you have this sensation is the presence of a demon spirit for someone else that sensation can mean breakthrough is coming it's like jam questions you see how they mix them your question one is someone's question 10 that's how it is in the spirit he may you may feel heat in your hand and say it's healing anointing no it is your secret place that gives you your own question paper and god tells you for you this experience means breakthrough is coming oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. minister to people sometimes you see me laying hands on people and sometimes i can just stand there are there are things your body becomes a superconductor of his glory you can feel the impulses of god's desire he can move in any way he wants with you but we never remain in the secret place until we get that depth of understanding i don't just mean understanding of quoting scriptures the secret meaning to truths in scripture you can stay with god and the moment you see someone coming you know that this man will destroy me it's, you didn't have a vision there is a dealing with god there is an impulse 
you know that this car is going to have accident i will come out it's not just out of fear hi where have i been feeling like a cow no 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 no, no. i'm not talking about that i'm talking about a sensation you get up and you can know my elder sister is in trouble you were trained in the secret place i show you mysteries physically you just see men doing things but i wish your eyes would be open in the spirit they are like robots wires from eternity connected to different parts of them that communicate several impulses of the spirit that's how sometimes i can know the exact point where the holy ghost will touch someone i can stop my preaching and as i'm opening my mouth the anointing is touching the person it's a training it's not guessing you try doing it it's not guessing that level of precision comes in the secret when he visits you he tells you this is a key to this one of the things you will get still on point two is he will now reveal to you the unique role you have to play in his end time agenda no 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 you have to get to that point where god now tells you look david damn come i have passed you through seasons and then he tells you david damn this was what it was all about you're going to take the worship the healing power of god through worship to the nations that is your mandate downloaded it's not just the issue of talent alone it's the issue of the seasons in your life bringing you to a place where he now gives you the blueprint and he says david Dan, you will be a mistral you will speak my purposes to nations and while he's downloading it you are dear tiny you but an experience has qualified you for a mantle something comes on your life you may not even realize when it came all of a sudden you will find out that you go for a meeting and all of a sudden you are worshiping and the prophetic starts manifesting dramatic results and healings all of a sudden someone calls you and says sorry we're in uk we just listen to your album we are ready to pay for everything you have been fasting for open door you even try to join a site that will help to facilitate your travel the door was not open in the spirit now it has been opened the nations will call you I want to show you how men rise in the spirit when you rush physically whereas the door is closed in the spirit you will frustrate yourself and go around and come back to the same point your unique room as you are seated here looking at me can you stand up right now and say apostle I know what my role is in God's end time agenda I'm an intercessor my experiences with God has revealed this to me that he has called me to through the ministry of intercession but the purposes of God in the lives of men and nations have you found it I was in Kano preaching at a PFN um, conference a few months ago a Jimmy I met a woman for the first time in my life who finishes her Bible every month she said sometimes in 11 days she finishes by word of knowledge I called her out even me I don't finish my Bible like that read your bible and finish in a month you know how hard it is to read these things that's to tell you it's not an ordinary book you have finished books more for luminous than this but what is it about this that you cannot just finish it's not a story book when the spirit of god comes upon it there is a lot here there is a reaction to your spirit that will force you to not rush it there is a level of building you must have with God to be able to read your Bible and finish it. This woman finishes her Bible every month without fail. It's something I've not done. I don't know if there's any man, I, I may be wrong, but I don't know who finishes your Bible every month, cover to cover, then start again. But here is a quiet woman. It's a track record with God. You will be surprised something happened to her life. Maybe her child died. Maybe she lost her job. And she said, Lord, since nothing is working in my life, let me pick my Bible. 
all of a sudden she stumbled across the mantle of her destiny and now this woman is an intercessor when i saw her i was almost saying ma i can pay your house rent if need be to just include me to be part of your prayer point i have met a few women a few women maybe i think there, there should be one here one mama they believe that part of their life's assignment is to pray for me constantly man that is the greatest gift you can give me you can buy me a car you can buy me a house those things are mundane but to have men and women when i'm when i'm i'm just moving around traveling by air whatever i'm sleeping somebody's awake constantly touching heavens for me Say mystery. but there are men like that there are others who are financial apostles they are the ones who will fund god's end time agenda there are ladies here your prophetic destiny is tied to your marriage that's why god is so strict with you other women can marry anybody but for you you are like esther so because of that there are certain things that must happen in your life god will not allow certain things to happen you will be saying god but why me he says because esther must marry a hazardous for israel to be free and so it will not just be anyhow oh, oh, oh. about your life can be connected to prophecy but these seasons will reveal them to you every man that tries to ask you out he just leaves it may not all be demonic it's because you have been separated there is a mantle on you you have been separated you may not know but i say it again esther must marry a hazardous so that israel will be free it's not about marriage and children the bible does not discuss the children of ahasuerus and esther it's not necessary haman is a beast that wants to destroy the the israel of god and it will take an esther so god will separate you other people may be moving god will say for you stay here oh god where are you going with me the secret place will reveal it So that you stop judging everything as delay oh god i'm going through delay in my life all my colleagues are married do you not see what is upon you do you not see that there is a mantle and that's what controls the things that happen around your life while you are seated i want you to pray one minute and say lord what is my role in your end time agenda make it clear please pray Please pray, Shabbatakata, Lande Kretos Kalabai. Why do you visit me in the night with songs of worship? Where are you going with this melody, so called? Is it just to wax an album, or is there more? Where am I going with these songs of worship? What is the meaning of all these visions? You wake me up in the night. I can't sleep sound. You are showing me things. To what end, oh God? Where are you driving my destiny to? Why am I so passionate about finances? Is it just to prosper? Or is there more? Is there a mantle upon my life that must release a resource for God's end time agenda? I thought it was all about business. I thought it was all about wealth. But could there be that there is a prophetic anointing upon it? Show me my role. Why have you given me influence? Why do I meet great men everywhere I go to? Why do men of influence want to talk to me? 
Is there an anointing upon my life? Is there a mantle that will be used in this end time? Why have you given me your usual interest? Why have you given me access? Why am I so compassionate? Could there be a prophetic explanation? The third advantage for rounding up. When all is said and done, you get to the place of the anointing. That was what it was all about. Listen to me. The pain is a journey. The pain is not an end. The pain is a door leading you somewhere. Finally, you get to that place where all is prepared your body has been prepared now to carry grace your marriage has been prepared to fulfill god's agenda you get to a point where god tells you all the relocation was all about the anointing all the activity was all about the anointing you've been a graduate for 15 years no job it was all about the anointing all about the anointing I seek an agenda that is bigger than your needs. Thank you for aligning yourself. It was painful. But now that you have gotten here, then you will encounter grace. The ancient mystery that came upon ordinary men and turned them into signs and wonders. That is not just an ordinary impartation of falling down and standing up. Your spirit is now programmed to begin to host possibilities. Possibilities. That is the realm where your voice becomes like the voice of God. You speak and it rattles the foundations of men's destiny. It's not about oratory. There is an authorization that comes upon your life on the strength of this sacrifice. Listen to me. There are two dimensions of receiving impartation. The first is a direct impartation from God because there are certain anointings that are new and your secret place will be the first to introduce that possibility of God. So there is no physical vessel carrying it to release it to the earth. You will be the first to enter a covenant with God that will reveal that possibility. Listen, please look at me. Not every mantle that should be on earth is already on earth. Not every mantle that should be on earth was recorded here in the Bible. There are mantles that are still yet to come. There are graces that are still yet to come. The gift of the Spirit is not nine. Only nine were revealed. There are many more. There are many more expressions of the Spirit seeking for men. Let me tell you, it is important you understand this. There are many other possibilities of God. The anointing is like rain. It moves from Asia to Africa. Seeking for vessels that are worthy enough for its landing. And it doesn't find any and it goes to the continent. May Africa keep it. Because there are certain graces. There are things God has been wanting to do on earth. But the anointing moves like a plane not finding a place to land the same way demon spirits go around restless that's how the, the certain dimensions of god's mantle are restless they are looking for bodies bodies a body has thou prepared for me when you go through this season then it comes oh for when it comes upon you then you will begin to manifest things that you will never believe You will change things that's when you can look at someone's jump score and say what did you get he says 141 and you say i change it he goes to check and sees 276 no 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 at that level they are not clapping for a man of god you have represented a system that brings the possibilities of god to people i'm showing you how to be a blessing it's not just by giving people sewing machine you must carry an anointing
God keeps telling me every time, son, if you will give me more room, there is still so much I can do with you. You know, sometimes when he says these things, I just start weeping because I just sit down and say, my God, so there is more. There is more. There are challenges that some of you may have that we have not yet accessed the level of grace to reveal Christ to you in that dimension. We can choose to camp around this mediocrity or still press and say there is more. There is more. When people act as if they have arrived, I am shocked. So a direct encounter. In Exodus chapter 4, Moses had a direct encounter. His mantle came directly from God. No one had done what he was about to do. And so God had to give him the impartation directly. But the second dimension is impartation through the ministry of men. We are not strange to this understanding. I've taught it here and there. And I've taught you that men are systems in the realm of the spirit. They are not just human beings. They represent systems. Let me reiterate what I said in one of the meetings. Watch this. I told you that spiritual growth is through relationship. Hear me. But kingdom advancement is through covenant. If you did not understand it that time, maybe you have grown enough to get it now. Let me repeat it. I said that our work with God, spiritual growth is based on relationship. But the advancement of the kingdom, God's end time agenda is based on covenant. And the second law is that God reveals himself dimensionally. He reveals portions of himself and commits portions of himself to people. But the system with which he brings that about is that when God intends to reveal himself in a way, he must find a man. When he finds a man, listen, he enters a personal covenant, not Old Testament, not New Testament, a personal covenant with that man. And that covenant with that man becomes his authorization for revealing that dimension of him to that dispensation. Nobody in that dispensation will encounter that dimension of Christ ignoring what that individual represents. You must pass through him or a tribe that is connected to him for you to enter that dimension. So when you look at the healing ministry on earth today, for instance, you trace it down to different men of God, it finally lands on Benihi. He is the living system that represents God's healing power to the nations today. And until Benihi goes to be with the Lord, no matter how anointed you are, you will still make reference to his covenant with God that represents that territorial dimension of healing. Are you getting the point now? The word of faith, you go down to people like David Ipiome, you know, Bishop Oyedeko, and it lands finally on Kenneth Copeland. He is the living system that represents the communication of God's ministry of faith on earth. But there are much more. There are other possibilities God wants to reveal. He has not yet found a man who can align to reveal that possibility because the heavy persecution that will come on that man for being the first to introduce that dimension listen let me tell you no it's not something i say in the open. when you understand this mystery then you will know the reason why you must be prepared to carry the anointing the anointing will bring certain grave grave levels of hostility in your life that if you are not built by God you will die men who introduce all of the movements we know in the body of Christ some of them it was until they died many years after they had died other people who were the fruits of their mantle stumbled across their books and they said my God 50 years ago this man wrote this now he is dead do you know there are many things Kenneth E. Hagin wrote and many of the generals is now the church is understanding them. We read them and even edited them. But now we are seeing that ah, this is it. Many years ago, John G. Lake said you know, the casting out of devils also produces manifestations. They insulted him and they said manifestations are only impartations. John Lake knew what he was seeing. 
he was describing a dimension of the deliverance ministry that was not yet known but right now it is like the last 10 years that that ministry just started coming to africa but they were men with the eyes of the eagle they had seen it do you know there are many things some of you here you go back to your notebooks and read messages you listened to in 2001 that's when you will scream and say do you mean i was under this anointing and i did not recognize it encounters see if you want to move more than having an anointing to becoming a spiritual system it's not a very attractive life your entire life is a lonely one the the course of life that everyone follows you may never have the privilege to enjoy it there are certain men on earth today who carry an anointing called a kingmaker anointing i never knew there was such an anointing until god taught me let me tell you the price for carrying a kingmaker anointing you will never enjoy what the anointing carries through you but you will make others have it there are men like that their churches will never be large yet they will produce the largest churches on earth their crusades may never have signs and wonders but they will transfer the deepest miracle working anointing it's a kind of anointing if you don't know it you will say they don't have the results you are looking for be careful there are dimensions it's a kind of grace paul said so then death works in us paul was never married in his lifetime but he taught married people how to live that's the kingmaker anointing it brings you into a realm that the person himself does not have the privilege to ever enjoy it like the woman who spoke to me a woman who probably had never held hundred thousand of her money but she said my son forever walk upon gold that's a kingmaker anointing it will be many years in my life walking with god i'll now realize that so this is what was released that mama never knew she carried it only god knows where she is on earth now maybe she's seated as we are talking right now she's trusting god to raise 200 naira for her but she has produced a wonder through the anointing in her life there are men you ignore they carry things they are not authorized to benefit from it but they will give it to you <laughs> ah there are mysteries in this kingdom there are mysteries in this kingdom so a woman who never had a good home never had a good home but there is a mantle upon her when she blesses your marriage that pain is what authorized that anointing to walk in her life so you can see all her children haywire seven children they are all touts and you say this woman must be irresponsible but she may be the greatest prayer warrior you ever know there is a woman who lost her husband her marriage failed when she was 20 called Anna the prophetess for 64 years she was in the temple interceding you would think what kind of prophetess are you that you could not solve your problem that was a kingmaker anointing when Jesus was born he said my eyes have seen the salvation of Israel now Lord let me go to rest all I was waiting for I may not experience his ministry in my lifetime but my job was to bring him here we're going to pray brothers and sisters it's time for us to move to the next level spiritually the anointing is what we need to bring the love of jesus to nations how god anointed jesus jesus said the spirit of the sovereign lord is upon me doctors you need the anointing of the spirit if you treat patients with what you were taught alone you will watch many patients die in your hands you need more than injection and, and and stethoscope you need a grace businessmen if all you think you want to do is real estate and make money and do all of this you are going to be in trouble because there are forces you need the anointing you need the anointing to marry you need love to marry foolishly and anyhow but you need the anointing for your marriage to strike a chord for esther to marry a hazaros so that israel will be saved esther needed an anointing not just beauty 
there was a kind of ointment she rubbed on herself for one year before she became married you will need more than reading if your education is to bring the glory of God you can read to get 4.69 but you need more than that God will ask you to vow a vow and say for as long as I live I will use my certificate to bless you and you say yes you will answer two questions and still get an A because it was never about your effort you have a deal with God so the covenant from that sacrifice has kicked into play a man will vow to fail you and his life will go haywire in one week not because you are so prayerful he is the keeper of his covenant this was part of what I preached in the conference and the Lord said I should bring it home and speak to us again brothers and sisters the time you carry the anointing that can solve men's problems truly you have earned the right to be a blessing stop sympathizing with people you have done it too much press 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 like the woman with the issue of blood let them say whatever they want to say but can you press through the crowd and carry something authentic so you thank God for not allowing you to start ministry yet you would have just been like any other man little signs and wonders 12 members today 20 tomorrow 5 next tomorrow then you now join the bandwagon of critics who are frustrated by they are not pressing listen stop trying to change things around you something on you is what will change everything around you stop trying to change things around you something on you something on you something on you favor will not come just because you know all the people favor will come because there is something on you that will call them in the glory I will stand I will stand and I will lift my hand in the glory we receive every miracle you have for us it's in the glory tonight we stand we will stand and we will lift our hands sing your glory we will receive every miracle you have listen you will never have in the physical what you do not receive in the spirit are you listening to me you will never have in the physical what you do not receive he said when you pray it is a believe you have that will be lying believe you receive and you will have it number four you must take action listen we call koinonia intimacy but not just intimacy partnership a participation with the Holy Ghost hallelujah it's not entirely left to God to change your situation it's not entirely left unto you the Bible says listen to me that when they came to Jesus Christ Jesus came and went to a pool called Bethesda that had five porches and the Bible says he saw a man who had been laid there for 38 years. Hallelujah. When he saw that man, he told him that would he want to be healed. And the man was grumbling and complaining and he did not bring his miracle. Are you listening to me? Grumbling and complaining does not produce miracles. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. And the Bible says that Jesus told him, John 5, verse 1 to 9. You can read it. It says, take up thy bed. Hold on. How can Jesus tell a crippled man to take his bed? It is a people assist him. He said, you, stand up, take your bed and walk home. In other words, if you believe me to be powerful enough, take action. Faith is not faith until there is an action. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 3. Paul, I mean Peter and John, on their way to pray at the hour of prayer, the Bible says, and then they saw this crippled man from birth, sitting at the gate, beautiful. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 4, verse 1 to 9. And the Bible says that he looked unto them expecting to receive arms. He did not know that his time of visitation had come. And Peter said, silver and gold we have not. He said, but such as we have. See, there are people that have something. Let me tell you something. Not everybody is a noisemaker. There are people that have something. It's an election of grace. At what point did Peter know he had something? Because the last time the Bible tells us he was sinking, he was not sure he had something. But now he said, uh-uh, it's not Peter. Something, I have something. And such as I have, give I. He said, in the name of Jesus, Oh, this is the inheritance of the believer. In the name of Jesus. He said, rise up. Do you know the man did not stand? He was just looking because there was no action. The Bible says, listen, this sign shall follow. It will not go before them. It will follow. The signs follow. They do. Listen, your faith initiates signs and wonders. The woman with the issue of blood began to speak she said this is my conclusion if only i can touch the hem of his garment i don't care who is going to stop me hallelujah and the bible says peter helping his faith to work held his hands and lifted him and the bible says and he leaping stood hallelujah as the word of God comes don't sit down wondering that's the time to say thank you Jesus that's the time to celebrate that's the time to check yourself check the tumor don't say I don't want to embark no that devil that has been oppressing you as the word of God comes you receive it and you begin to take action this is the last time that terminal disease I wave you goodbye you are gone for good. Partnership. Hallelujah. How many of us are ready to receive tonight? I know that God is going to do mighty things. It's going to be very, very fast. Very, very, very fast. Hallelujah. Very, very fast. Ushers, if it's possible please start collecting the prayer request because we don't want an interruption if you don't believe prayers are answered in this place please don't write anything you will not go to hell I will reverence you Lord I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence. I will reverence Lord. Hallelujah. Please pass your prayer request to the last person by your side. Ushers coordinate them. Let's do it quickly.
Aleluya. Please pass it quickly. So we bow as we enter the throne room. Lord, we cast ourselves down at your feet. For you are holy, thou art holy. There is none like you. For in your presence, that is where I must be. He's healing everyone in obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The one who does these great things. Tonight let no man be worthy of praise. Let no man be worthy of honor. Alpha Omega for the things that you will do in this place I give you praise because you always hear me whenever I call him he will answer me Elijah called on him and he answered him the apostles called on him and he answered them this is why i know whenever i call on you you will answer me listen let me teach you something before i begin to minister you can never be more confident than your secret place will give you are you listening to me? The secret place is the place of authentic power. The confidence of a believer is in the derivative of your knowledge. The Bible says, let the wise man not glory in his wisdom. Let the strong man not glory in his strength. It says, but let him that glory at glory in this, that he knoweth and understandeth me. I know that there are many men and women of God here who have come from different places to catch the fire. And this is why I'm saying this. Listen, this is not about jamboree. There is a real person called the Holy Ghost. He's not a myth. Listen, you will never be able to walk in miracles until you believe in the reality of this personality. That he can find expression in the midst of his people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus saw tears and wheat. And he gave us a verdict. He said the enemy has done this. Can I announce to you that there is a devil that will not relent over your destiny until you put him where he belongs. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
The Bible says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. And then the sons of Jacob, after that deliverance will possess. Oh, there is no possession until there is a separation between light and darkness. Hallelujah. All the powers of darkness that have tormented you while I prayed, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw a lot of torments that are keeping people where they are. Listen, the Lord told me something. He said for everyone, I was talking with my sister earlier on and she was just sharing her desire to receive. And I, I went to the Lord about it and the Lord said that all you need to do tonight, that's what he was telling me. He said, if you speak it, I will confirm it. That's what God told me. Hallelujah. When God told me, I started writing a list of the issues I know in people's lives. Because I've been receiving text messages. Some of you sent me text messages. Angry about some situations. And my God told me, he said, if you will speak it, I will do it tonight. I tell you the truth and I lie not believe the Lord. He will surprise you tonight. Please listen. There are some of you, I must say this. When we mention your case or any issue that has to do with you, please don't waste the time of others. Hallelujah. Don't waste the time of others struggling and then coming very shabby, very complacent. We will just jump you. Is that agreed? Because we want to see how we can use the few minutes we have to really do a quick walk in our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands as we worship you. See the rain of your love Feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear Just lift your hands I didn't ask you to sing Feel the rain of your love See the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear yeah. We see the rain of your love Feel the wind of your spirit Please lift your hands When I begin to sing let it rain There will be deliverances Let us hear So let it rain All shall spring them out Let it rain The flood gates of heaven Let it rain Let it rain The power of the Holy Ghost Moving across this building I see a lot of chains, chains, demonic oppressions. The power of God is already moving. But we are going to shout the name Jesus. Listen, listen. Every time the Lord shows me this, I see angels. And I see the movement of the angelic right now. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Many of you will literally feel like electricity running through your body and those devils there is no hiding place tonight are you listening to me how many of you believe there is no hiding place tonight there is no hiding place at the count of three my god you will confirm your word everyone under any yoke any spell any enchantment at the count of three let the power of god Bring such a one inside and outside. Let the angels of the Lord move at the count of three. Are you ready to shout now? One, two, three. Oh, Oh, 
I cast out devils. Go, 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 of the Holy Ghost, let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall. Let the fire bring her. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost show back the dead. Show back the dead. Satan, get lost. Satan, get lost. Yeah, yeah. of the Holy Ghost is the fire of God it will happen to some people from outside outside the fire of God is falling and even inside but I want you to know as I begin to chant in the spirit there's no hiding place for any devil tonight Lord let your power move every power every force of darkness I release the fire of the Holy Ghost let it fall I release the fire leave them leave them leave them ushers leave them alone you will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat the Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat the Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat the Holy Ghost will bring you out you that see men come to sleep with you in dreams and oppress you they call it spirit husband and spirit wife I don't care what the name is right now there is fire lift your hands everybody responsible for failure responsible for delay listen listen at the count of three the Lord showed me in a vision this one will hit many people Tonight is a night of deliverance. Many of you do not know this is what is responsible for your setback. I already see angels standing in front and outside. Listen, it's going to, you, know, you will not be able to stand it. It's a fire. Are you ready now? At the count of three, some of you will not finish shouting Jesus. Lord, I pray. You said if I can speak it, you will do it. 
I stand under this apostolic unction. Every manifestation of the devil at the count of three. One, two, three. Go for Tosha. Legacy. Go for Yeta. the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy put to an end the power of God is still falling I tell you devils are under major attack by Paul's attack the angels are walking don't wait till you fall down receive don't wait till you fall down has nothing to do with falling yeah was a sound that I had in the spirit. That's why I'm singing it. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Bring her. It's time for her deliverance. I command you to come. I command you to come. Don't force her. She will come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come. Come and stand here. Yeah. 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 Listen. A scripture entered my spirit. It said, how all inspiring are your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit when light enters you it makes you a madman tonight is a night of major deliverance major 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 yeah. hallelujah leave her alone Stand there. Stand there. Yeah. 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 Listen. Listen to me. Everybody look at me. Please. The word of God is not a lie. God cannot be joking with you. Anytime you take your Bible, I told God, my life and this ministry will be a demonstration of the book of Acts. It's the Acts of the Holy Ghost. Sir King Salama, 
Salama. He's called the Prince of Peace. Hey. Salama. Yeah. Hallelujah. Leave her alone. Be still. Stand in one place now. Your time in this body is over. Your time in this body is over. Now in the mighty name of Jesus. Out of her now. Come out of her. Out of her. Sir King Salama. Out. Come out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. He make it his angels, spirits, and his ministers flames. Leave her now. She's free. Sarkin Salama. 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 Your time is up. This is Koinonia. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out now. Out of her. Yeah, boy. Listen. Listen. The Lord is showing me an arrow coming from outside this country. This is what affected this boy. This thing has tied this gentleman's life. Leave him. Leave him. Come back here. Come back here. Now. Sorry, everybody. Come back here. Many of you, listen. Many of you do not know that wickedness is real. You have allowed films to, distort, to, to spoil your mind. If you don't take, I tell you, whatever is stopping, one of the things I will be doing tonight is breaking the curse of marital delay. Oh, the devil, it will answer tonight. Look at, it's already happening. Come out. Come out. This guy has a violent spirit. A violent spirit. Salamai. The mighty name of Jesus. Every lecker hole you have over this body. I challenge you right now. You will leave him. The fire of God is against you. It's time for you to go out. Out of him. Out. Shall the captives be delivered and the prey be taken from the mighty. But thus saith the Lord. Let her go right now. Thou foul devil, come out, come out. So pray, take a barrier, da baladala. Sarkin Salama, Salama, Salama. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you what the Lord is showing me about this gentleman. This guy, listen, listen, please. This guy has a very, very colorful destiny. But do you know what I just saw? From his head to his toe. How many of you have read the story of Lazarus? That's what I saw. And he was tied with snakes from his head to his toe. This is what I'm seeing right now. See? Do you know that the challenges many of you are going through is not ordinary? It's because nobody has told you. But tonight there is a God to set you free. This is spirit husband. This is what is stopping this lady from getting married. Out. Come out of her. Out now. 
in the mighty name of Jesus your time is over I'm seeing an army officer I'm army officer in the name of Jesus come out come out Shekataba Brentoko Prikata out of her right now this is the spirit of lust go pros ketaliada be gone there is no hiding I tell you something see the mistake the devil made was to allow you come in here tonight I don't care whether you are wherever if you came here tonight if except God lied to us in the Bible but if he told us the truth there will be a performance in your life tonight Sirkin Salama Come out out of her right now Salama Salama Listen let me tell you what happens in meetings like this some of you because of this demon spirit the one to start pushing you to go out or to run away you you better stay and let god help you the devil is a liar tonight are you listening to me okay i didn't finish with this guy watch what will happen to this brother he's not looking at me oh. he's not looking at me just calm down stay in one place i'm not speaking to him don't, don't worry stay in one place you can't go anywhere you come here this is a, the head of a snake i'm seeing right to his foot in the mighty name of jesus christ the fire of the holy ghost sets you free right now from your head to your toe i lose you i lose you he's going to cough out something outside take him outside he's going to go and cough out something Sarkin Salama Salama eh, Salama eh. Come out of her right now in the name of Jesus Devil of darkness Sarkin Salama Salama there's someone that has a problem a heart problem heart problem that was your request heart something in your heart i don't know what it is the lord is showing me please remember i told you don't waste our time please there's a lot of things we have to do this night heart something pertaining your heart if you are still thinking about it you are not the person please quickly Salama 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 Hallelujah Ah ah See There is a lady Now don't feel embarrassed at what I'm about to say You see snakes in your bathroom Ladies bathroom Who is that person? Come out come out this has been an issue you have not shared it with people snakes you are you see it who is the person please Salama. Salama, yeah. you are not the only one no you are not the only one this is the problem god god is ready to deliver you look this is a family are you listening to me this is not this is an apostolic ministry so there is we are here we are a family when god is mentioning your case forget about what, what issue of shame issue of shame is out of the way hallelujah what's wrong with your heart asthma, asthma. is asthma really a heart this one i'm seeing a heart problem but i'll pray for you be healed right now in the name of jesus christ Heal. Listen, I'm going to pray for you people. God is doing it. Come out 
of her now. Out. Come out of her now, devil of darkness. Your time is up. Just hold my hands with both of your hands. The fire of God will hold it as tight as you can. It cannot stand. It will leave you because you are destined for greatness. Once I see it in the spirit, it must go. For light cannot hide in darkness. Aha, I see you now. Out! Go! Go! Kapotoka! Reketaria! Mambroskote! Reketeria daba! Boseketalia! Out! Come out of her! Out of her right now! Sarkin Salama! Look at me. Two things God is doing. Hold my hands. Hold it. Do you believe? You want God to set you free? Look at my eyes. You just look at my eyes. Try to look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Devil of darkness. Go. There is no hiding. For there is a name that is above every other name. What did she come out for? The same thing? Why were you afraid? Don't be afraid, eh? You hear? Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Can you shout Jesus as loud as you can? Go ahead. Salama. You are free. Salama. Salama, yeah. Be delivered right now. I set you free. Now. Do you know what is happening to this lady? If I tell you, some of you will not believe. For every shout that she's making is demons that are going. When she's done, she'll be quiet. <laughs> now, leave her. Fire upon you right now. Out of her. This lady has a great destiny. This is a snake. This is what I'm seeing. This is a whole snake. Mighty snake. The Lord is against you. Let her go now. Out! In the name that is above all names. Hold my hands, my dear. Hold my hands. No, I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. Come, hold my hands. I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. You people do not understand spiritual things. You are spiritual people here. Come, hold my hands. The demon knows what it means, what I'm saying. Salama, yeah. Salama. Hurry up, please save our time. We, we don't have much time. Salama. Hold my hands. Don't tap it. Hold it. Out now. 
Salama yeah, yeah. Salama Watch the way this demon will leave Come, see Listen You will go on your knees You will bow to the king of kings And go, simple You will go on your knees Bow to the king And off you go Sir King Salama 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 yeah. Listen This is not jamboree As I see my father do it Don't go and try it You will die for nothing This is not child's play Hallelujah Don't you think we are just No I'm not one of those ministers I can't come and waste your time God is too serious Are you listening to me? Now lift your hands Many of you do not know Listen Please, now is the time to stand both for yourself. If you are a lady here, there is no reason why you should not be lifting your hands. Marriage is a blessing. It's not a curse. As I, as I talk, as I talk, because you see, I, I see a sword of fire leaving my mouth. I want to break certain demonic things. Many of you don't know what is stopping you and your loved ones for some of you is a role in your family many people have told you nothing just just hope one day no we don't do that nonsense in this place now faith is lift your hands hallelujah listen the moment we shout the name jesus some of you listen you will testify whatever is happening to you here will locate all your loved ones around listen the reason is because there are ordinances of darkness that are keeping some of you your parents took you to places in the name of protection and that devil will not let you go the lord instructed me to do this hallelujah if you are here or your loved ones there has been delay men come they go or maybe you have a child and you're thinking you will not marry that devil is a liar this night are you listening to me so don't just stand for yourself alone don't say it does not concern me don't be foolish hallelujah are you ready now you will see the demonstration of the power of the spirit Kai, because see I'm seeing blood. I'm seeing blood dripping on the ground. Let me tell you what this means. There are covenants and ordinances. This is what the Lord is showing me. But my Bible says the blood of Jesus speaketh better things. Better things. At the shout of the name Jesus, the demons responsible for any marital delay, God. You said if I speak it, you will do it. Right now, at the count of three, it will hit some of you in a mighty way. Inside and outside. Lord, let nobody be spared. One, two, three. Break, 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 break. Ushers, bring them out. Ushers, bring them out. Break, 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 the yoke be broken, the yoke be broken, the yoke, I release you, I release you, I release you, I release you. Every cause of marriage over your family tonight be free, be free, be free. Don't don't take at her, don't take at her. Time to get married. Hey, kapa, ba, 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 ba. Bring them out. Don't wait till you come out. The power of God is setting you free where you are yes 
Yes, yes, ordinances. I'm seeing altars on fire, altars on fire, altars on fire, altars on fire. I set them. If I be a servant of God right now, I set every demonic altar on fire. It will burn tonight. I release you. I release your family. I release you inside and outside. I release you. I release you into your marital destiny. The curse is lifted. I release your sisters. I release your brothers by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. I release you. I release you. Just receive. I release you. I release you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I got a text from someone. I mean, they brought someone who was sick. Who was that person? I can't remember now. A sick person. No, they sent, I remember they sent me a text that they would bring the sick person. Please save our time for God's sake. We're still going to minister to the sick. Hallelujah. Let that lady go free. Now, devil, let her go free now. Let her go free. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Let her go free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Everybody say, I receive. Yes, it's happening to you. Now, please listen. I want to pray for terminal diseases. Terminal diseases. All kinds of terminal diseases. Please, you brought someone or you came here with a terminal disease. Come out quickly. Terminal, only terminal diseases. Please, let's save time. Can we do that? God is locating people. There are some of you, God, God is already. Terminal diseases. Please come out quickly, quickly. Quickly. I beg you, if you can run, run. Save time, please. Please. As you come out here, say, Lord, it comes. I hope you know what terminal diseases are. to God where that sickness bye bye because it's going forever I'm not afraid Not afraid. 
of time. Listen. Can you just hold your hands together? If you can. I'll just minister to you at once, please. If you came here believing God, then know that it will end. Hallelujah. There is an angel standing here and there is an angel of the Lord standing here please listen when we begin to minister to the sick if we call a case and you came with the person please make sure you come especially if the person cannot speak English for our mothers so that we can hurry up okay the power of God will come upon some of you but it really doesn't matter that devil is going right now the spirit is called the spirit of infirmity hallelujah after a country you will say i am healed when that happens it's like electricity it will pass with power all around this place are you ready now one two three go poto be free Go, 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 go. Coming out this is go. Go, 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 go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go, go. Go. Come back with testimonies. Come back with the testimony. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, come back with a testimony. 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 I speak to you, all of you. Come back with a testimony. Come back with a testimony. Hallelujah. Say I'm healed. Go back to your seats. You can check yourselves. Please make sure you check yourself. Go to the hospital if you need. I know someone with HIV was healed. Anyone who has been, anyone with any CG, see the power of God is, is breaking from inside. Some of you are outside here, you are not receiving. People inside are receiving and they are leaving you. Listen, anyone with any academic issue that Senate has refused to answer, between now and the next 14 days, I command them to answer. Anyone who is at the verge of probation, listen, anyone at the verge of probation, I pick you from where you are and I bring you back as a student in this school. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you. Any course you did not fail, listen, See, believe oh, any course you did not fail, but you went to the board and you saw F. I change it. I said I change it. Man to kapala kuzita. I change it. Kato pratisi. I change it. Hallelujah. 
any man, I don't care who, who is molesting and oppressing people in, every, in any department or any faculty, whether supervisor or whoever, I instruct them to begin to favor you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. Those inside, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm standing out because I want those outside to appreciate this meeting. Now I'm going to pray for you. Some of you, I'm seeing chains on the heads of we are dealing with academic issues now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to lift your hands. Many of you will feel like fire burning your head. If that wait, I'm going to count three. When that happens to you, listen, this one will affect a lot of people. There are some of you that are first class materials. But because of this wicked thing, you were excellent in secondary school. It's not that you are bad. Let me tell you, those days will be restored. Because listen, listen, listen. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. When I count three, inside and outside, with all your heart, shout, I receive. For some of you, that will be the last thing you will remember. Something will happen to you that will change your life. Are you ready now? Please, with all faith. One, two, three. Receive it now. Receive it. Take it. I restore you. Take it, 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 inside, inside, take, receive it inside, receive it inside, outside, receive it. Receive it inside, take it inside, take it inside, at the back, inside, the angel of the Lord is touching people, at the back, outside, here, at the back, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Many of you will go back now and your academics will surprise you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. Listen, I want all of you to think about a cause that has been troubling you because I'm about to make it to bow now. Just listen, listen. I'm walking as God is. Just, just think of it in your mind just once and bring it under the Lordship of Christ because I'm about, to op I'm about to tell it to open up for you. Are you ready? It's already happening to this sister. Now listen. Every department... Every faculty in Amadubello University, that course that is threatening you right now, when I shall bow, many of you feel as if your head will open up. Are you ready now? In the name of Jesus, bow! 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 In the name of Jesus, bow! Bow! In faculty of medicine, bow. Faculty of engineering, bow. Environmental design, bow. Education, bow. My God. Social sciences, bow. Sciences, bow. All the faculties in Congo, bow. Every other faculty, bow. Anyone with a missing script. Problem of missing script. I stand tonight under this unction. And I command, wherever your paper is. Where, except you didn't write that exam. Wherever your paper is. Just as the donkey of Kish was found. I command that paper to be found now. Hallelujah. For all those whose assessments have been bad, listen, for this exam, for all those whose assessment have been bad, have been, uh, are bad, in the name of Jesus, I release makeup test, makeup assignment in the name of Jesus. 
May the Lord touch the hearts of the lecturers, no matter how hardened they are. Hallelujah. All of you shout, I will excel. Say it one more time, I will excel. Say, excellence is my portion. Say, I refuse failure. Say, I refuse failure. I take you from pass, from third class. I take you into some of you are atrocing. Let me tell you, any class you need to step up, I step you up right now. Yeah. I know some of you are doubting. Do not doubt the creative power of God's word. It created the heavens and earth. I said I step you up, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all those whether you or your loved one, they've been writing jam after jam, wayek after wayek. You are looking for papers, it has refused to come. If God be God, if there is a God in this place, listen, those of you who are about to, whether jam, whether DE, you have papers that you need to make up. I stand as a servant of God. I give you the paper you are looking for. Those writing jam, I prophesy. Write your last jam in the name of Jesus. Those writing whether wayek or whatever to make up. And there are some of you who are about graduating, but the papers you have are causing trouble. And right now you already have a problem at the Senate. Mercy, mercy, mercy. You must graduate. You must graduate. Let something be done in your life that has not been done in this school. God is visiting people. Thank you, Jesus. God is opening people's files, I tell you. God is visiting people. Don't stand there doubting. God will bless others and leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything called mental blockage or exam fever, all this nonsense that comes on people you will read and even do tutorial for others in the name of jesus that spirit that makes you to forget things in the exam hall that you will only remember after you finish right right now i cast that spirit in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus. You cannot read like a slave. I forbid you from reading like a slave. In the mighty name of Jesus. I tell you, God is visiting people in a mighty way this night. God is visiting people in a mighty way. Hallelujah. In your academics, I don't care how bad it has been. I don't care what has happened from today. Step into that, that dream you saw that your, your results has never looked like it. You have been seeing it. Enter the reality of it. Many of you have dreams. You see four points, but you write exam and see one point. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, God is visiting people. Hallelujah. Now, please, everybody who is sick, you came here with any kind of disease. I'm about to rebuke it right now, please. We don't have time. Our time is fast spent. But God is going to visit inside. Are you still with me? Are you still with me inside? Now, those outside here, I want, I want to pray. Everybody lay your hands anywhere is hurting. If it's a part of your body, you cannot lay your hands on, lay your hands on your chest. Whether fibroids, whether growths, whether cancer, whether blindness, whether deafness, whether lameness, whatever it is, I don't care. If it followed you here, it made a mistake because it's going to leave you right now. 
Are you listening to me? Some of you, what you call sickness is actually oppression. Because I see that there are many ladies with all kinds of sicknesses. People think you are careless. You are not. That devil will leave you. Hallelujah. Some of you have HIV. It's not like you slept around. You too, you don't know how it came. Some of you have all kinds of cancerous growth. There are people they've told you you, you cannot. I, I, after I finish this, I'm going to specially pray for barren people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, listen. All of you inside, lift your hands. Lift your hands for that healing. I'm going to count three and the power of God will begin to come on sick people. Just those inside. Those inside. Ha hallelujah. The angels of God are moving inside. I see them. At the count of three inside. I tell you, many sicknesses will disappear right now. The moment I count three, just take that hand and lay it where it's hurting. And start receiving your miracle. Are you ready? One, two, three. Receive right now. Take it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now lay your hands there. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Many of you are feeling like electricity. It's the healing anointing of the Holy Spirit. It's going through you. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Those outside now, lay your hands there. Are you ready to receive? That devil will not follow you. Now in the name of Jesus, those outside here, receive. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Growths disappear. Terminal diseases go. Asthma go. Asthma go. Every deaf ear be open now. Every blind eyes be open. If your hair and one leg is shorter than the other, let the other one grow out now to equal sizes. In the name of Jesus. Every lady problem, every woman problem, irregular menstruation ends now. 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 The fire of God is burning. I tell you, the fire of God is burning. Every lump in the breast disappears now. Disappears now. Disappears now. Every growth in any part of your body. Every growth. I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus. I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Any pain in any area of your body. I rebuke it. Any trace of mental disorder, whether for you or for your loved ones, wherever they are, and if you are here, let the power of God touch you now. Let the fire of God touch you now. Let the fire of God touch you now. Shake it, kapa. Reke teko to 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 baka. Ziko to riapata. Shake it. Let them go. Let them go. Out, 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 out. Every kind of mental problem, whether it has manifested or not, out, 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 out. Go, go. Every curse, every covenant. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, any woman here, or your sister, or you, who has been barring please connect now is the time we want to release miracle children right now i don't know whether they have been barring for 10 years 20 years 30 years the bible says and god opened the womb of anna listen i want you to stand you are a lady here you lived a promiscuous life and then you found out that okay some things happened maybe you lost your womb or something god is about to give you a new one right now i don't care what the problem is Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to curse barrenness and impotency. Low sperm count. All this demonic infertility. Whatever. I, I don't care. If it has a name, it's going to answer this night. Are you ready? Everybody inside, make sure you are with me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Whether for you or for your loved ones, right now, my Father, in the name that is above all names, lift your hands. I pray. 
There are some of you, listen, some of you do not know that there are already projections of barrenness on you. It's just that you have not married yet. So don't say until you are married. The devil is wicked. God brought you to set you free. You'll be surprised. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, you're going to shout Jesus. And God is going to visit some people. There are some of you, God will visit you not for you, but on behalf of other family members. And I tell you, you will see people take in. Are you listening to me? Do you believe this? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus and you'll see what will happen. Are you ready? Thank you, Holy Ghost. At the count of three, let your power move across inside and outside. Are you ready? This will happen to many people because there is the curse of barrenness. And standing for anybody at the count of three, shout it with all your heart. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, Supokoto, Rekete Keriata, Barriness, go, 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 inside, inside, fire, fire is falling inside, outside, fire is falling, the curse of barrenness, Tokoto Peketa, for your loved ones, every barren woman, receive children, receive children, receive children, any impotency, Whatever it is, low sperm count, infertility, whatever it is in the name of Jesus, I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Please stay with me. Sita kapala koshoprete Zimbato krostu palakato sepete hallelujah i want to pray and prophesy we want to talk on the issue of finances right now everybody stand up and take this very seriously we apologize for the lightning i believe that maybe some hitches here and there we'll soon round up Hallelujah. While this is happening, please let's have all the prayer requests outside here. Look at me. See, listen, look up. The secret of financial blessing is in your giving life. Are you listening to me? I don't care what you are doing. The secret, if you are not a giver, whatever you are seeing now is only a deceit. It won't last. Are you listening to me? I want to minister to you. How many of you know that God is not glorified in anybody's poverty? How many of you are tired of the situation of some of your family members? You know, you know what? A, some of your parents, one job here, two months, they've driven them away. This is a curse. The problem is that pastors like sugarcoating things. They just say, oh, it's well. There is a difference between faith and foolishness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now I want to challenge you. Everybody, please hold a seat. Bring out a seat. You know us in this place. If you don't believe, don't bring it out. I want to break the curse of poverty. Don't you think, please, I, I, if you have something, share with your neighbor. Please, please, please. Bring out a seat. Don't murmur and grumble. Just keep your seat back, please. We are a blessed people. We are a blessed people. Look at me. Look at me, sister. Look at me. Tell her to look at me. Look at me. Just tell her to look at me. Don't worry. Leave her. Look at me. Come out of her. Devil of darkness. Ah, leave you alone. Praise God. See, while I was praying for this meeting, I saw this. Please listen. I saw a particular family. This is a revelation that the Lord showed me. And I saw them around the river. Hallelujah. Around the river with 500 naira. I don't know. I, I'm not going to mention them so that you don't think maybe I'm talking about a church or a ministry. We don't do that. But I saw some people seeming men of God or whatever around that they were trying to do something about financial prosperity. You see that they kill chicken 
they killed one other animal, I think goat or something, and they were invoking things on the person. And the Lord said, save this family. I saw it in the vision that the Lord showed me. There is nothing we will do here that God did not instruct. Hallelujah. Please, if you do not have a revelation of this, keep your money. You won't go to hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring out something and connect it. I want to pray for you. You will lift it up. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, just lift it up. People are oppressed. Ah, people are oppressed. Listen, just lift it. Many of you, the fire will fall on you and your sacrifice. It will fall on you. See, it's poverty I want to attack. It's a spirit. Don't be mistaken about it. It's already happening to people. Everybody lift it. Please, make sure there is a seed. It will be your contact. Clash the symbol for me, please. At the clash of the symbol. Ah. Are you ready now? My father, I pray. It's your desire to prosper us. People have suffered. Families have suffered. Right now, spirit of poverty. Go. 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 Keep the offering up. Go. 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 Shake it. For your family, I bought that spirit of poverty. It's a cause. Leave God's people. Poverty causes laziness. Poverty causes lack of failure. Lift your seed. It's your sacrifice. My God and my King. If God be God, I pray. Poverty be broken. In the name of Jesus. Be broken. So kete kete. Reko to poko chupaka. So proto koto. Reke te kete. Reko to preke te kete. Jobless. Go. 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 Hallelujah. To me my people made a covenant with me by sacrifice I command doors of uncommon unusual inexplicable and shall prosperity let it be open now for you and for your family that joblessness ends now God is visiting families. God is visiting families. Any contract that has been revoked right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, I return it back to your loved ones. The curse of poverty be broken. Don't say I'm a student. Become rich in the name of Jesus. Become rich, blessed, wealthy. I program your spirit as surely as the Lord lives. God is visiting people. Twenty-one angels standing in this place i don't know what i'm seeing i'm seeing it, the whole of this place the whole of this place lift your hands because god is about to visit you some of you it's not just financial issues god will join everything and visit you as soon as i shout receive it right from here down to this row this is what god is showing me the power of god will come in a strong way lift your hands all of you in the name of Jesus, at the count of two, just two, the wind will blow. One, two, let it blow right now. Take it. 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 Don't wait till you fall. This has nothing to do with falling. It has nothing to do with falling. Receive by faith. 
Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting people. I don't know what the case is, but when I touch you, just know God is visiting you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The angels of the Lord are pointing people to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aha. Now, out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shekotopa. Your time is up. Your spirit. Out. Out now. Pain go. Come out. Supokotopekata likata. Dombretons kebanda kriata. Lord, visit them. Ushers, help me. Visit them. Please help them. Help them. Ushers, so that they don't fall down one another. Visit them. Visit them. Zidaba. God is visiting your mother right from the States. Oh, no, in UK. God is visiting her right now. Hallelujah. Madam. God is about to locate you. Stand up, please. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Come and stand here, please. I don't know you, but look at me. Three things the Lord is going to do for you. Number one, God is going to change your financial story in a way that will surprise you. Number two, who is sick? Somebody is seriously sick in your family. It's my husband. I have. It's your husband. Because this is what I'm seeing. This is what is sugar. Sugar. Yes, yes. What is sugar? What is sugar? I'm hearing sugar. Diabetes. Diabetes. Yes. Do, do I know him? Have I met your husband? I'm hearing sugar. The Holy Spirit is telling me sugar. Diabetes. Is that correct? I'm, I'm BP. BP. I'm BP. Look at me. The third thing God is going to do. Are, are you building? Are you building? Madam, look at me. Are you Yes. The Lord is saying that building will be completed. Yeah. These three things. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because you have lifted this seed. Many of you, see. Father, visit her right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visit families. In the name of Jesus. See, I tell you, I'm not going to touch everybody. But if I do touch you, just know that God has visited you. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Bring this sister for me, this one. Yes, come. Did I lay hands on you? It's time for God to visit you. Are you listening to me? Take it. It's over. Whatever it is, it's over. Right now. This fair lady, come, please. I don't know what is it. Come. Don't see. You people should not be angry at God. God, it, I must not touch you. Do you understand? You can see that we don't have all of the time. Eh? Look at me. I'm going to end a lot of things in your life. Seven things in total. One by one, God is going to show you. Five of them. You wrote... You wrote seven prayer points. Yes, sir. How many prayer points did you? Seven. The Lord says seven things is visiting you and is bringing on. Was I there when you wrote it? Seven things you wrote. Seven things the Lord is visiting them. Lord, that is it. It ends right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Seven things the Lord is visiting you. Somebody wrote 13 prayer points. 13. 13. 13. You wrote 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13. Who is that? Come. You are the one. Come. Was I there when you were writing it? 13 prayer points. 13 prayer points. What did you write about your father? My family. Yes. Peace in my family. Peace in your family. There is fight. Was I there when you wrote it? What did you write about the issue of money? Last week when I went home, my sister was complaining that there is... Because I'm seeing the Lord is showing me your prayer points. That's why I'm reading it to you. Was I there? There's no money. You went home. Even transport to come back. Follow somebody. Somebody gave me a lift. This is, I, I, God said I should do it to prove to you that this is not just guesswork. My God, in the name of Jesus, locate this lady. Your situation ends once and for all. Regina, 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 Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Ah. No, Regina. 
Don't miss your miracle. You are Regina? You. No, this Regina is here. Your name is Regina. Where is your mother? She's in Lagos. What's wrong with her? I don't know. Pray for your mother. Huh? Because this is an attack I'm seeing on her. Huh? This is an attack I'm seeing on her. Be careful. Don't let any lecturer talk stories and ask you to come and visit him in the night. Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. Does it make sense to you? Believe it. Huh? And then get into God with all your heart. Are you listening to me? I want to pray for you. This lackadaisical Christian attitude become a genuine Christian right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Grace to pray. Grace. Taiwo. God is visiting your mother. Just look at me. God is visiting your mother. Lord, visit her in the name of Jesus Christ. Right from here. Just as a point of contact, God is touching her in Lagos. Visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit her. This, this girl, eh? Bring this lady crying. Lord, end this captivity in the name of Jesus. This lady's family do a lot of diabolic things. Are you listening to me? And they have put, they have put things in this girl as a medium. This girl you are seeing, she's not the person you are seeing standing here. Hmm? This girl is very old. She's not as young as you are seeing, as in, I mean in the spirit realm. I'm seeing somebody that is up to 800 years old. Hallelujah. Are you see, look at, look at this. Bring her. This is what is wrong. They, they invoke spirits of ancestors into this girl. Come and stand here. Because they did it in such a way. Listen, they did it in such a way. And this is the invocation that no matter how much you are a man of God, you will not see it. This is what they did. Look at, I've seen it. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Look at, this is why this cry is happening. They, they programmed it. I don't know how it is. Many men of God have attended to this lady. They didn't see it. I don't know why. Because as I'm standing now, I'm seeing a tree. This is a tree I'm seeing. A very tall tree. Keep quiet. This lady, you see, she doesn't even know if this lady gets angry, she can beat even five guys put together. Are you listening to me? She, 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 she will, I mean, beat you and put you on the ground that you will cry. Even her, right from a small age, she has been seeing this strange power. This is not normal. I need to rebuke that. Some of you are like that. You just think it's your family. You beat all your classmates in nursery school. Beat all your classmates. In, you are happy about it. Hallelujah. I have to set this girl free. I'm seeing rings on her legs, rings on her hands, huh? ring on her eyes, even on her eyes here. Yeah. What kind of nonsense is this rubbish thing? Hmm? Keep quiet. This noisy spirit. You will go out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm? Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Huh? Two of us won't be talking. You are going to leave. There is a legal access that is given to you. But the Bible says the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. And listen, leave her. Please leave her. Don't hold her. Look at me. Listen. Behave yourself right now. I'm going to rebuke this some it will create a ripple effect on all our family members because they mentioned their names as they were killing chicken this is what i'm seeing one by one
they will mention their names and kill chickens. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Come back. Just leave her. She will come back by herself. This thing is more than 800 years. This is what I'm telling you. Am I wasting your time? Am I wasting your time? Leave her, leave her. When she's done, she'll come and stand here. These are demonic things. Don't be distracted by all this drama. Let's concentrate on what God is doing, please. Mama, come. Come and stand here. Your time of visitation has come. I don't know what you came here for. Eh? Your time of... What did you come here for? You are barren. Is that... Yes, sir. You are barren. How many years? 13 years. I'm seeing one and three. Mm -hmm. How many years? 13 years. 13 years. You have been barren. Your, your, your situation has come to an end. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your stomach. What did the doctors tell you is in your stomach? Nothing. They will do scan, nothing. But you are feeling movement in your body. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. In the night when you are sleeping, it will be as if a man wants to sleep with you. Yes, sir. A man comes to sleep yes, and it has even affected your relationship. Yes, sir. Eh? You don't even have affection for him. Yes, yes. Do you know me? No. Have you ever seen me? No. Your time of freedom has come this night. Because this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a stone, a stone inside your stomach. You used to have pain when you sleep. Sharp pain. This is a stone I'm seeing. Hmm? This thing is a demonic thing. Lay your hands. I open this womb right now. Let the womb take in by the power of... Take it right now. All right, it's time for you to go. Now, in the name of Jesus, I challenge you, come and stand here. There's no time. See, demons can distract. If you waste time on them, they are going to distract you. Are you listening to me? All these things are distractions. Learn this. This is not just a place to receive. It's a place to learn. Many people focus. I'm not against all of but it's not necessary. We don't have all of this time. Are you listening to me? Come and stand here. Quickly, come and stand here. It was finance, right? Okay. Let God solve somebody's problem right now. Listen. I release you into financial blessings. 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 Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes is going to come. Bishop Stan is going to come. They are going to speak prophecies into you. Hallelujah. I wish we had time. But as they speak, please receive. Hallelujah. They will speak and while I go up there. When they are done, we'll come and pray on your request. Can you wait a few more minutes? Can you wait a few minutes? Pastor Jackson. Okay. Please, ushers, just cast your offering. Cast your offering quickly. Ushers, all over. If there are no ushers, just be patient. Inside and outside. Please make sure you drop your money to only ushers. Hallelujah. Please lift up your hands. There's no time. Joining hands with Bishop and as we pray, whatever you desire, okay? Whatever giftings you've been trusting God to unlock in your life, whatever dimension of God you've been trusting God to push you into, as we pray corporately, the presence of God, and the oil of God will be poured upon you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Even as you have declared through your servant. Lord, as we cast this seed, may it be an end to poverty and financial hardship. In the name of Jesus. You cause doors to be opened. For every family represented here in Jesus' name. We stand in agreement and rebuke devourer in the name of Jesus. 
Deborah us in form of sickness, in form of accident. We rebuke you in Jesus' name. Amen. We set everyone free. Amen. Enter into your financial liberty Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Marital liberty Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me invite the ministers as we pray on the request. If you've not written your request, please write it here quickly. I want to, after this, I'm going to be inviting Uneku and his wife who are going to be dedicating and praying for their child. Hallelujah. And any other woman with child here, you're going to come out with your child. We're going to pray and speak protection after I do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Please. Very quickly. Stretch your hands while you are seated. You don't need to stand up. Stretch your hands as we pray on this request. Go ahead and pray. Father, we pray that you visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, visit families. In the name of Jesus. Grant every spiritual blessing that your people are asking for. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray that every prayer point here, Lord, is answered in the name of Jesus. We release the angels of God to bring answers and solutions to needs in the name of Jesus. Let breakthroughs come, academic blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for businesses. We ask that prayer points here about businesses, that the Lord will open up doors in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for healing. We release the healing of God upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring salvation into your family. The Lord visits your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord blesses you with peace joy in the name of jesus christ of nazareth refreshing comes from the presence of the lord refreshing comes from the presence of the lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every closed gate is open in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every dark cloud is rolled away in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you we give you praise we celebrate you in our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah put your hands together for the lord Hallelujah. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. All the children, quickly, quickly. Please save time. We just have about five minutes or so and we're out of. Celebrate them as they come if you know God will give you children. Please come and line up here quickly, quickly. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, let me pray. Please, Uneku, come up with your wife. How many of you remember them? Worship team. Come on, celebrate your own. Technical, celebrate your own too. See, they are all seated together. Is that where they met? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody stretch your hands towards them. This baby is a miracle baby. I tell you. I was there in the hospital. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I said, where is the baby? Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray. Rebuke the hand of Satan. Do it as though you are praying for your own child. Rebuke the hands of Satan. This baby is blessed. Growing normally. Daddy and mommy are healthy. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. 
we dedicate this child in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. This child will grow in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. We command this child to be an ambassador. We program his destiny to glorify Christ alone. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for peace in this house. This will only be the first child and not the only child. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Jakes and Bishop Stan, can I invite you just to come and lay hands on these children? Hallelujah. As we lay hands, all three of us will lay hands. You just lay hands. I'll come back and lay hands on them. As we lay hands on the children, we rebuke the hands of Satan. We rebuke the hands of Satan. No, let me lay hands on them before they go. We are, we are doing it all of us, please. Very quickly, these are instructions that God is giving. We are not just doing these things carelessly. Any child, any one child that has anything that is not of God, we cancel it right now. We cancel it right now. Eh? In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the Lord visit this child. Let his hearing be perfected. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. See how wicked Satan can be. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. These children are blessed. Where is he? Bring him. The boy ran away. Because this boy wants to kill himself. It's the spirit that wants to kill him. Where is he? I tell him to stand but he went. You see what I told you spirits. He ran away to where? Wherever he is right now. In the name that is above all names. May the Lord visit him. You will go back and you will come and testify. Hmm? I'm seeing the fire of God on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord visits him. You are standing on his behalf. In Jesus name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Uh -uh. Come out of this girl. Devil of darkness. May the Lord bless you. Madam God is really visiting your family. May the Lord. Uh, you came out for yourself. Or for your child. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. Please stand up everybody. Be rounding up now. Every closed door. In the name that is above all names. I open it right now. Every door of failure and disappointment. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let that door be open now. I pray right now. Any voice that is speaking against you and your destiny, I command those voices to be silenced right now. Whatever is stopping your spiritual development, whatever is stopping your passion for God, one leg in, one leg out, I pray, I release encounters to your life. Encounters with angels. Encounters of heaven. Visions and revelations. Dramatic encounters with Jesus Christ. I pray for the spirit of prayer. May it come upon you in a mighty way. Who is this? Oh, see the boy is back. Come. Look at me. How are you? The Lord will set you free. Huh? You love Jesus. Look at me, look at me. You love Jesus. Do you like what happens to your life? Huh? Are you tired of it? Look at me. Are you tired of it? Huh? You want to be free from it? Huh? Madam, it's not this boy that is doing these things. Are you listening to me? This is a suicidal spirit. Huh? This is demonic. Because this boy is destined to be great. Are you seeing... And this is why the devil wants to destroy him. Hmm? Look at me, my brother. Why did you go away? Okay. He doesn't even know why he left. Hallelujah. 
the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness, your time in this boy's body is over. The fire of the Holy Ghost against you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you right now. Who is Bulus? It's his uncle. Bulus is his uncle. Do, you, do I know Bulus? Where is he? Hold my hands. Father, I pray that the wickedness of men will not catch up with this boy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my God and my King, I pray for a dramatic visitation. Look at me. Look at me. Go to church. Join a fellowship. Huh? These bad guys that are around you, they will destroy you. I cancel your appetite for them. They are, they, are trying to, they are trying to introduce you into wheat and all of this nonsense. You will not have appetite for any of these things. Mm? You will become an obedient and a respectful child. This hardened heart this night has been replaced with the heart of stone. Salvation comes to this family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rahila. Who is Rahila? Do you know anybody called Rahila? What is, I mean, well, I'm hearing the name Rahila. This is your daughter? Come. How are you, my dear? Hold my hands. See a mystery. I'm going to be praying for you. But is that your sister that is going, hold, hold on, don't tell me. I, I don't want you to tell me. Hmm? Don't tell me, don't worry. That's your sister, dear. I'm seeing light. It's leaving you and it's entering. I'm going to pray for you, but the prayer is going to affect her. Hold my hands. I set you free right now. I set you free right now. Lose, lose her from that chain. Be loose right now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. There is deliverance going on in your family right now. I don't know why this is happening, but God is bringing you. Through. Thank you, Jesus. Brother, look at me. Please be a gentleman, okay? Be a gentleman. Love God. Be serious with your life. You are a healer. Okay. Well, you came out. Let me pray for you. The, the Lord is not giving me anything exactly. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Ah, you don't know. I'll just pray generally for you. Go. Is that okay? Lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I command favor to your life. I command favor. Favor. Favor is one blessing that the Lord has given us here. I release it into your life right now. Yeah. Whatever has been a challenge for you, may God speak it. Yeah. Listen, when God speaks over your situation, that's all it ends. If you are here, I didn't call your case, but you came with an expectation right now in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you at that point of your need. Yeah. Every habit here that is not of God, masturbation, pornography, all of these devilish things that are destroying people, I cast it out of your life forever. I cast it out of your life forever. It will not return again. I cast it out. I cast it out of your life. Every form of immorality that stops you from entering the dimension God wants to take you, I release grace upon you. To walk in genuine holiness and purity. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your parents and your loved ones. As God visits you here, may he visit them. As God visits you here, may he visit them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we step into the seventh month, may it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. 
may be a time of perfection for you. What you have not accomplished from January to June, accomplish it in July. I command promotion. I command promotion. All of you in ministry, I pray that you will see a greater anointing in your ministries. I release greater fire in your fellowships, in your churches, in your ministries. Let devils be casted out. Let the sick be healed. Let sinners be saved in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command increase and expansion for ministries here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of you planning for marriage, I command whatever resource you need, I release it for you. Even if the man has not come, I bring him into your life. Even if the woman has not come, I bring her into your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, inside and outside, this is an opportunity for those who have never given their hearts to the Lord. Please stand up. Everybody keep standing, please. Hallelujah. The greatest miracle that can happen in this place is that you are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. You have seen the miracles and all of these things. But there are many of us that need to make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And right now, as we begin to clap, I'll count one to five. Praise God. Inside and outside, please give them space. Inside and outside, I want you to come before the Lord here. You've never given your heart to the Lord or you made a decision for Jesus once. You made a decision for Jesus once, but you found yourself derailing. Please come out and stand here in the name of Jesus. Please. Leave your seat and come out. Appreciate them. They are coming. God bless you. Please rush, rush, run, run, run. Don't be afraid. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed inside and outside. God bless you as you come. They are coming. Koinonia, celebrate them. Outside, make sure you don't stay back. Don't let any devil rob you of the greatest blessing. Keep coming, keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, when I do this, Selena and my sister and their roommates, please you come and stand. I'll pray for you. Hallelujah. All of you. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, those of you in front. Thank you so much for coming. See after me, Lord Jesus. I love you. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I'm born again. I'm saved. Jesus is Lord of my life. I denounce sin and Satan. From today, the Holy Spirit lives in me. I have eternal life and the gift of righteousness and I will reign in this life and I declare scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.